Hello everyone, welcome back to Last Night I Watched. I am Ian, I have Carlos Roman and Christian here with me today, and we're going to be talking about the original Jurassic Park trilogy today. So yeah, let's get ready to rumble. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, we're talking about the Jurassic, the original Jurassic Park trilogy today because uh, the new Jurassic World movie just came out, so it kind of sparked us to revisit the original three. Because um, that's, I don't really care. Do you guys like the world movies at all? They yeah. didn't really stick with me. Though. Exactly. Same. Yeah. Whenever yeah. I think of Jurassic Park, I think of the first three, especially the first one. The first one is obviously the best. And um, yeah, would you guys, you know, would you guys think after rewatching it for this uh, show? Um, well, for me, it was a first time watch on two and then a rewatch on one and three. I think three I saw once as a kid, probably when it was newer. And then um, one I've seen plenty of times. Jurassic Park, the first one always delivers. Um, for me, the second one had some bright spots, but for the most part, I didn't really like it. It was kind of tough to get through because it's just as long as the first one. It feels longer, though. It does it's feel so much end- longer. It's for me, dude, that ending just feels so tacked on. Yeah, definitely. It just, it, it, yeah, the whole uh, going to mainland San Diego, all that stuff. It's just really clunky. Yeah. Uh, and then the third one is fun, I guess. Um, <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're not terrible. It, it almost reminds me of when uh, our Lost Matrix episode where we go through the Matrix trilogy and yeah. we were saying the second and third ones aren't so bad. Um, but, you know, the first one's definitely still the best. Yeah. That's the classic. Exactly. Yeah. So that's kind of what I pulled away from it. It was just, you know, second and third one seemed a little more... They were, they were like, well, we got to finish it now. You know, start yeah, a trilogy. Right. Steel, yeah. Spielberg's all about that money, that exactly. merchandising. Exactly. Yeah. They, um, it sounded like they made Michael Crichton write The Lost World because of how successful Jurassic Park the movie was. That's kind of how I felt about it. Um, we can probably dive into it more later, but uh, the second one, it seemed very forced at the beginning. It's pretty much a cash grab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it was Jurassic Park was like the most successful movie yeah. ever at the time. Yeah, and you can just watch it on its own. There's no uh, yes. cliffhanger. Yep. N- no loose ends really. So. Yeah. 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 The second one suddenly there's just this other random second island. Yeah, yeah. It, kind of like a retcon yeah. in a way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. That it it not good continuity because you see the dinosaurs being birthed at Jurassic Park yep. in Jurassic Park, and then all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh no, we bred them all on this other island. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, and you see what? that again in the third one too. That they, they, they go find back all the eggs. Site B. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. go to Site B. Yeah. So um, you know, it was still fun to watch them all though. I, I like them better than I've liked the newer any of the newer ones. Yeah, that's good. You know, jury's still out on this new new one, but you know, I have no interest in seeing it personally. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carlos, what what about you? What'd you think of the original trilogy? Man, the first one is really good. Um, it was re-released. We were talking earlier back in 2013. I remember going and seeing it on the big screen for the first time. Nice. My aunt took me. I'm jealous. And, you know, I see it as I age. You know, back when we were a kid, I just wanted to see the T-Rex eat people. I want to see some raptors doing some clawing. But now I can kind of understand the story a little bit better. I can understand the dialogue. I don't yeah. want to just skip all those on my VHS right. and fast forward. Right. <laughs> um and it has a pretty good story. I even in college for my last year, I took a dinosaur class. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> so I can kind of <laughs> understand like what Grant's talking about when he's unearthing these Pale- bones. Paleontology. And stuff. Yeah, mm. it's pretty cool. Um, and then chaos titian yeah, yeah. is yeah, that chaos chaos titian? Chaos titian. <laughs> what a crazy! Uh, I, I've never heard of that. I've never heard of it either, aside from Ian Malcolm. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, and I feel like Jurassic Park One is a very complete film. Um, it feels very hopeful. The music is very hopeful. Oh, yeah. It does get dark there for um, the climactic part where Newman's getting eaten and yeah. T Rexes are getting loose. And yeah. It gets dark and rainy, of course. Yeah. But then, of course, it okay. ends up with hope and, you know, the survivors win in the end. Yeah. Very bright, sunny ending. 
Um, whereas number two is a very dark film. Um, Spielberg comes back for that one after doing Schindler's List, I think I heard. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he felt like since we saw the dinosaurs in the first one, we didn't really need to see them in the second one, which I thought was an interesting choice. And it well, felt what, do you, what do you mean by that? He didn't really show them that much. I that just film. I think there's so much. There's like I feel way more dinosaurs in the second movie. Maybe you yeah. know, like the whole Dino Roundup scene. Well, but what I was gonna point out is it feels more like um, uh, Spielberg's older film Jaws, where he doesn't really show the the shark. Okay. And there's that scene when the survivors are going through the long grass, and then the you just see the lines converging that might and people be my, start flying away. That might be my favorite scene. It's a great scene. Uh, maybe not my favorite, but like I've always liked that scene a lot. Kind of a stupid moment when the guy turns around. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? He yeah. just screams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought, okay, so my my um, reasoning behind that is like that, they probably just shot that for the uh, to put in the trailer to show that there are raptors in the movie. But it's not in – I looked through like every trailer, every TV spot – it's not in there. Uh, it's like what? It's just I guess just to show that those fuckers can jump. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, great. Yeah, but you're you're right though. It's kind of like the fin in the water, the 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 trails in the grass. Yeah, I can definitely. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas number one feels more like ET, very hopeful and stuff. Sure. Um, number two feels more suspenseful and dark, like a Jaws. Maybe Jaws isn't dark, but. Um, I mean, like and Empire then, Strikes Back, maybe Temple of Doom, that syndrome, maybe. Yeah. And mm. then number three is just action packed. I feel like that one feels the shortest. I don't know if it's. Oh, it is. It's, it's, it's like an hour. I think without credits, it's like an hour twenty-five. Really? I want to say. Okay. I think. Wow. Yeah. And I think that's a different director too. Uh, Joe, Joe Johnson. Johnson. You know who that is? <clears throat> Not really. Designed Boba Fett. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. He's an uh, effects guy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, designed designed Boba Fett. It's pretty cool. I really like number three. It's action packed. It's everything I wanted the second one to be. And I think that the story makes a little bit more sense than the second one. Because the second one is like, we don't really got to go back to this island. Okay, maybe my girlfriend's there. Maybe we should go back. But this one, he's like being tricked into doing it. Dr. Ellen Grant. Yeah, might basically be, got uh, kidnapped. Kirby's. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. I, okay, so I I didn't rewatch the third one. I didn't have time. But I've, I, I, like I said, I've seen it enough to where I don't, I, I've seen these movies to like, I don't even think I'd ever need to rewatch them again. I've seen them so <laughs> fucking much. Um... Where's I going with that? So I I noticed this time Ian Malcolm is the only in number two. He's the only person that gets set up to go to these islands that is not doing it for money. Mm. In the first one, Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler go to Jurassic Park because Hammond tells them that he's gonna uh, fund their fund dig. their dig for a further three years. They you know he pulls out the check in three William H Macy and goes I can write all kind of kinds of numbers on this check, mm-hmm. Doctor Grant. Ian Malcolm goes to save his girlfriend. It's mm-hmm. a very heroic intro, yes. too. He's like, this has just turned into a rescue mission. I like that. He's like, you want to put your name on something, fine. But stop putting it on people's headstones, John. Like, it's, mm-hmm. he's... Oh, if you want to leave your name on something, fine. But stop putting it on other people's headstones, oh, John. Oh, oh, come on, she'll be fine. She spent years studying African predators, you know, sleeping downwind and all. She knows what she's doing. And believe me, the research team... Will... It's not a research expedition anymore. It's a rescue operation, and it's leaving right now. It's just, yeah, I like he's just so pissed. Throughout he the whole thing, noble. he's just so pissed. Yeah. You know, like he's, he's pissed off at everything, and just, yeah. He's just trying to leave, basically. That's why I think, yeah, Malcolm's my favorite character. Yeah. A and lot then, of people, I'm oh, sorry. And then number three, Dr. Alan Grant, he's doing it for another check from yep. Kirby. So. Yep, right, yeah. 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 So hey, money, money talks, bullshit walks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Christian, you said you didn't, you weren't able to watch two and three. No, I wasn't. Sadly, but have you ever seen them? I've seen the first one. Oh, okay. That's it. Never, you saw the you best never one. Never seen two and three. Mm-hmm. Never seen Ooh. two or three. And Pretty here I am. To watch. Yeah. Ian's always been the only one that tells me, that tells me uh, he likes two. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the only. Well, Michael likes two. That was really that was really nice to find out when I found out Michael liked two. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. And, uh, Michael likes too. So you like shout out, shout out to Michael. <laughs> you like two, don't you? Carlos? It's okay. You, said you like three. It's the weakest out of all of them for me. Oh, okay. I like number three the best. Gotcha. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, first one's awesome. I remember watching it a lot at my grandparents, along with uh, 102 Dalmatians. <laughs> what a what a pair. <laughs> yeah. What a pair. The double feature of a century. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta balance. 
yeah. play it all out. Sure. Now, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love how uh, Newman is in this. Wayne Knight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Wayne Knight is, as. Uh, he's the he's just, he's the one who causes he he fucks everything up. Yeah. The cast is pretty packed in the first one. Yeah. You got yeah. Samuel Jackson in there. Yeah. Before before he was Samuel Jackson, he's just kind of like insert character actor here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the tr- the I don't know what to call him the trio Jeff yeah, Goldblum sure. Sam Neill Richard Laura Dern. Richard Attenborough is John Hammond's yeah great. Richard Attenborough that's why I like two also it's nice to see him back that's, mm-hmm. that's the true. only one he ever came back for I forget when he died he might have died like after three came out mm. oh, okay. but um I, I always like seeing him in two mm-hmm. again it is nice yeah, yeah. he's a good character arc throughout yeah. the whole trilogy thing yeah. he's very different in the book oh really he dies in the book. He gets killed by the pro comp comp signathus nathus the compies was, yeah, yeah. Oh, was, damn. which they're not even in the first movie. I was planning on reading the book, asshole. Oh, well, you're about <laughs> sorry. Thirty years of that book being out. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. What do you know? Yeah, yeah books books kind of different. Like the um, the the lawyer is not this like he's actually kind of noble in the book. He and uh, Robert Muldoon go around like. Uh, bazooka and raptors <laughs> what the hell it makes so much sense because um i had toys that's one of the reasons why i have so many fond memories of jurassic park i had a bunch of toys and they all came with like bazookas and i'm like this is so weird N- no scene are there bazookas I-, I think they they read the book or maybe in the original script it had that mm-hmm. and they gave that to the toy makers before the you know film came out mm-hmm. to you know get a head start on the, again merchandising yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was like, okay, that makes a little more sense with all these fucking bazookas everywhere in the toys. This, um, Spielberg, this is after E.T. and and Gremlins, and I know he was involved in, like, making Gizmo cuter so you right. can sell more toys. Yeah. Uh, um, I, lo- I thought it was kind of funny, like, in this one, he just put a built-in gift shop, you know, <laughs> when uh, Hammond is talking to Laura Dern at the, the, ice cream. In the cafeteria. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but they focus scene. on, like, the... You know all the different merchandise. Oh yeah, and it's just saying you know you could buy this. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. you can go out and buy all this now. Yeah. yeah. Coming soon to Universal Studios. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's smart. I mean, built into it, made a ton of money. Yeah. So Hell yeah. I mean, yeah. I had all my Jurassic Park toys and everything, so yeah, it definitely mm-hmm. worked. Mm-hmm. 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 Definitely. I just had some little generic dinosaur figures that had nothing to do with Jurassic Park. Mm. But <laughs> you could just pretend. Yeah. You know. yeah, those two would never fight. They're I, herbivores. Oh, yeah. that in the third movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the kid. Yeah, the kid does not give a flying fuck. Yeah. That's uh, one thing that bums me out about the third movie, too. You know, it sets them up that they're going to, uh, in the at the end of the first movie, they're probably going to end up, you know, getting married and having kids. No. No. He's just, a, he's just you know. Yeah. He's just, uh, I don't know what he's, he's just still digging up bones. <laughs> yeah. Being awkward around children. Who knows what happened. Yeah. I did sort of like the bait and sw- the way it was played out, though, you know, the bait and switch of, like, him talking to the kid, and she comes up walking with the baby, and then some other guy just comes walking up, and that's yeah. her husband all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> or her, yeah. I don't know what. Sorry, audience. Yeah. No, they they definitely do that a lot. A lot of retconning, like you said, because, yeah. or I don't know if that's a retcon, but, you know, I don't know. For me personally, I thought the first one ended perfectly fine, that's and then some of the changes they make in two and three, I didn't really care for that much. Yeah. Right. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. They, they didn't need to be made, you know, but we got them anyway. Yeah. Money. And I can I can like them for what they are, you know. Mm-hmm. I can have a good time with them still. Mm-hmm. No, the the third one definitely is more of like a, a popcorn, yeah, action flick. You know, yeah. Yeah. a lot more going on. The second one, I felt, I just I don't know. I felt like they overreached. Maybe they were trying to do too much with the writing or something. Yeah, I didn't really care particularly about the characters. Yeah, even Ian Malcolm, like a lot of the stuff from the first movie, I liked because he's so. You know, enigmatic, chaotic. Yeah, he's, and then so he's very the, different. Again, he's just so pissed off <laughs> the entire movie. Well, it's like all of a sudden, I, I think he mentions him in the first movie that he has kids, but his random, like, daughter pops up yeah. and doesn't really do anything. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? She kicks the um, raptor, the, the gymnastics. Oh, the gymnastics scene. That felt like, I was like, where am I right now? Yeah. It felt like a Friday the 13th scene or something. <laughs> it, it, the way it was shot, too. That's <laughs> like, um, you know, like, everybody makes fun of, like, the, the fridge in uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> That's like that movie's fridge scene. <laughs> yeah. Everyone totally shits on that. I've never really had that much of a problem with it. It's silly. It's kind of stupid. They said but, that one line you know, earlier. To right, the, yeah, the she the got cut from the gymnastics, gymnastics team. Yeah, so <laughs> that's the payoff. She <laughs> uses her gymnastics <laughs> to kick the, whatever, the velociraptor out, yeah, out of the building. It's a little silly. but And then, you know, the other thing, too, um, 
Maude from Big Lebowski. I, I was forgetting her name. Julianne. Julianne Moore. Yeah. Um, I didn't feel like chemistry there between her and Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, they kind of just argue. Yeah. <laughs> and they never, there's no um, closeness there. I don't even yeah. think they embrace really or kiss or much, do much of anything. Yeah. Together, not really. Know? I'm like, who? She almost seemed like she had more chemistry with Vince Vaughn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. yeah. When they're, uh, when they're um, setting the baby, t- the juvenile T Rex's leg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so right. fun. Like, I like how. Um, He's Roland Tembo is my probably my favorite character in that movie. Oh yeah, the the hunter guy. Yeah, I want to kill a T Rex. Yeah, um, a buck. He's always I've always loved his uh, double barrel shotgun. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a I'm, I'm getting off topic here, but you know the guy he's hanging out with, his buddy, the the bearded one. No, the guy with the glasses. Oh yeah, you know I didn't even know he was there. Really. Yeah, there's a PJ right. Aj, um, there's a uh, theory online that people think that they're gay. Oh. He wears an earring on his uh, right ear, oh, which I, I was always told is the gay side. Yeah, right. that's like straight out of 1997. Exactly, <laughs> just like the movie. Yeah, um, I don't know if they are gay or not. I don't know if that was what it was meant to be, but some people have picked up on that they might be gay. I saw that there's some deleted scenes with them in yes. the beginning. Did you watch it? No, I, I didn't catch it. I just read about them. Like it sounds like exposition. It kinda. doesn't. Yeah, they they were right in cutting it. It doesn't really add anything. Yeah, something to do with them on safari somewhere or something like that. Yeah, right? They're in Kenya or something, mm-hmm. I think. And he's like, he's like, Roland, this company has reached out to me, and I think you're interested. He's like, mm-hmm. I've hunted every single predator on this planet, RJ. What do you think will make me get there? And it uh, stops because you know it's like, yeah, well, dinosaurs. Right. <laughs> it's a whole island full of dinosaurs. Check out these predators. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely his thing. Um, I, but even him, like, I liked his character, but he almost felt like kind of just a rehash of the guy from the first one, the velociraptor, right. clever girl. In a guy. way, but I, th- yeah. I think he's almost better. I, he, he is because you know? he at least takes down. He the takes T-Rex. down the T Rex, and he, he's so no, like I, I like his character a lot. I like when um, the nihilist goes, uh, you know, he takes piss <laughs> and falls down the down the hill and all that stuff. Um, you know, he goes, "When did you last see him?" Mm-hmm. And they go off. He goes, "Miss Harding, no one tells a little girl." Yeah. Like I, was, I thought that was kind of cool. And like, um, you know, at the end when you know he's he's tranquilized the T Rex, and you know, um, snobby British guys offer him a job at the San Diego Park. He goes, "No, thank you." I spent enough time in the company of death and just mm-hmm. walks off. It's that's like that's badass, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. badass, badass dude. I like also too when he can't pronounce the dinosaur names. He's like, oh, oh hell, oh uh, yeah, you know, the one with the bald them. spot, fire, fire truck, or whatever. <laughs> that's pretty believable. Honestly. Yeah, I, I could. He just either. throws the thing away at one point, like the <laughs> pamphlet he has. He just funny. throws it. The booklet of dinosaurs. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it, Jurassic Park was very um, kind of scientific at the time scientifically correct in the sense that alan grant's theory is that you know that they evolved uh, dinosaurs or birds evolved from dinosaurs mm-hmm. which we now know is pretty much to be true and that's one thing that bones me out about watching these movies it's like they didn't look like that Mm-mm. they all mm-hmm. look like goofy fucking birds big turkeys yeah exactly yeah. kind of bones me out but you know that's what we knew at the time right yeah. reflects the time the science of the time and they it's got to happen for the movie but like there are so many times where I thought they're supposed to have hollow bones and right. basically be birds, but then they're crashing through metal doors and all this stuff, picking what up it, kids. So there's, a, again, people online try to, like, make sense of it. What it. It's a line he says in the third movie when he's given that, like, assembly hall speech, when he goes, like, what, what John Hammond and InGen did at Jurassic Park was created genetically engineered theme park monsters. Nothing more, nothing less. So it's like, maybe these aren't dinosaurs. Like, they're just, like... I, like you know these mutant, mutant freaks yeah yeah because they've used frog dna we should we talk about mr dna oh yeah i love mr dna yeah mm-hmm. you got do you have the thing oh yeah it's back here it's hiding i didn't bring any of my jurassic it's all packed away in boxes right now but you know i gotta do i got i got uh newman and it comes with like um it's either that i got the dilophosaurus too it comes with you know when he's like spinning the sign yeah it comes with that oh, that's cool yeah from the new funny. stuff yeah the oh. amber collection i had all i forgot what happened to all my old toys <laughs> Mr. DNA. Mr. DNA. That was a clever way to, you know, just get a ton of exposition out of the way, basically. Yeah. We got to explain everything to you as the audience. So right. Let's just show them, uh, you know, what they'd show you at the park. I did have one gripe watching it this time, though, is Mr. Hammond is doing the script back and forth. Is he going to show up every time? Red Letter Media say that, do too. Do the same thing? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, they just plan to be at the park, like, thousands of times a day, You're just doing <laughs> that little back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's tour guide. Yeah, on the side. It's a very good point. That'd be tiring. Yeah, oh yeah, especially for <laughs> how fucking seventy-five-year-old man. Yeah, he's got to limp around on his. Yeah, camera. exactly. Yeah, the mosquito. 
in the amber. Yeah. yeah. Um, then another like big hole a lot of people point out when like when they find the raptor eggs. And, um, you know, like, I think Tim goes, you know, Grandpa said all the dinosaurs are girls. He goes, well, they used frog DNA to, you know, uh, fill in the gaps that they had. You know, some West African frogs have been known to, you know, change second in a single-sex environment. He just knows that, and all these, all these fucking scientists that didn't right. come across them at all. They're like, maybe. It's just, it's just like, common knowledge to Alan Grant. Like, that's frog a, facts. you know, yeah. Like He's that's a paleontologist, a, frog fact guy. On exactly, the side, yeah. exactly. Yeah, his passion is frogs. <laughs> his real passion is frogs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's kind of a hole, but again, it makes, it works for the movie. Yeah, it's just basic, uh, science like talk. You don't have to think too much. Exactly, about it. exactly. Especially in 1993, they're like, oh, sounds right to me. Yeah, I read that in a book once. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my science teacher told me that. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Work. Yeah, no, yeah. but that makes sense. Um, that could be like I was saying about how they're supposed to be from birds. You know, maybe I don't know. The frogs toughened them up a little bit. <laughs> and now they can run through whole ass trees. That, yeah. that that is one thing that bugged me throughout the the trilogy is the um, co- continuity of how strong the dinosaurs are. You know, like um, it doesn't really make sense that the T Rex would have a problem just squishing that glass uh, in the first one when when the kids are getting like pushed down in the. Good point. Yeah. You know, and then but point. then they're like stopped by doors that just have simple locks sometimes. Other times the they get run locks. through tree trunks. Oh, they boot up the door locks. <laughs> so do they get stronger in the second and third ones? It's it's like uh, both. <laughs> it's both. Sometimes the rap- they're stronger. That's when th- I don't like the raptors in the third one. Huh. The I raptors don't. in the third one, they they are randomly peaceful when they give them the eggs. Yeah, I know. Like, I this don't. This is all we wanted. I don't like that. Yeah. I'm I know not. what they're trying to do. They're trying to like you know you know make them probably more like what they were actually like but it's just again it's like these things were vicious monsters in the first two and now they're all like you know they're like a tribe of 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 smart thoughtful um yeah. not that they weren't du- not that they were dumb but it's just like i don't know it just never really worked for me no yeah it's just it's just inconsistent yeah yeah but that's a you. big thing so when i watch all three in the span of two days you know i'm kind of like wait they weren't doing this last movie or they weren't doing this here yeah, yeah. Sometimes they're strong, sometimes they're not. Sometimes yeah. they jump, sometimes they right, chase. Right, sometimes yeah. They, you know, at one point they say, like, T-Rexes can smell from so far away, but then other times they're just hiding from a T-Rex down the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, to me, that just kind of seems like maybe uh, poor writing or something. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Can we talk about the intros to all three of these films? Yeah. Which one's your favorite intro, would you say? We were talking about the intro to the first one in the car. Um, probably that one. Yeah, that was probably Raptors the best. Bringing the guy into the cage. I wa- I, yeah, I wanted to talk about that because it's like, how many guys are there? Like forty, yeah. probably. <laughs> yeah. They all got like M16s and tasers. They're all looking like they're about to like walk into battle or something. Like they're all just you know just standing there looking at this forklift bringing in this thing. Even before the guy gets mauled to death, like someone just look around. It's like, is this a good idea? Like. <laughs> I tell Christian this in the car. It's like no one stopped to like say like, "Is this a good? This is a theme park for families. We're bringing in one of these things. <laughs> How many of us are here right now for <laughs> just one of these fucking things? Right. Yeah. We have to put them in these cases with a fucking forklift. Like, <laughs> you know, we can't even have them in a regular paddock. It's in this like enclosed. You can't even see inside. Mm-hmm. Like maybe maybe we shouldn't have these here. Yeah, little children getting up close to the fences and stuff. Yeah, like, that kind of makes sense with Roman's idea of like how strong they are. He's like pushing that entire metal cage right. open yeah. so yep. he can eat a dude. Yeah, I guess that could be a gripe with the first movie is why do they have one guy doing it? You know, oh, he's good like point. One guy's good point. Out. Yeah, you're right. They got forty guys standing. Around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and one guy, and they take forever to shoot him. Yeah, shoot 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 Huh? Number two scared me though when I was a kid. That's the little it's probably girl. The most distur- it's, it's the most disturbing. Yeah, yeah. yeah attacked by the compies. Yeah, and it cuts to to Ian Malcolm yawning with the back set of the island. I, that's clever. It's dark, but it's clever. Great transition. One of the best yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Scream and then sh- he's just oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of how I felt during the movie. <laughs> it's like, Ooh, yeah. Oh. It's, it's, yeah. Parts of it at least. Yeah. I always it's, thought it's the it's little a, girl dies. Body. Yeah. Well, they have this little line of dialogue. I like I, it's so great. It's like a British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. The wee girl was injured, and like Ian Malcolm's just like, 
He doesn't say anything. But he's just he gives this like like expression of like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" And he's like, "She's fine. She's fine. She's okay." Yeah. Yeah. She's fine. She's fine. I never got that dialogue before. Mm-hmm. Like, she's yeah. still alive. It's blink and you yeah. miss it. So, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And they make it seem like she got murdered. That's mm-hmm. apparently how the dark. the first book opens. It's like a series, like um, a series of people finding the Comsignathuses and uh, like people um getting injured at the park and they're taking them to like Costa Rican hospitals or something. And, and the whole, the hospital workers are like, you know, how the hell did this happen? It looks like he was attacked by some creature. Mm-hmm. Like, look at oh, these dude. marks on him. Big old lizard. Yeah, yeah. They that that could be another gripe I have with the the whole series in general. But I guess it's mostly in one. They have just those electric fences, and I'm like, you know, did you not ever think the power might go out? I like, know. You're in hurricane <laughs> territory. You didn't have a backup. You know, yeah. like, like what? There is a backup, right? That's where Samuel L. Jackson goes, where he gets turned into a, a rubber arm. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> um, isn't that what they're doing? That's the bat. That's the backup generator, or whatever. Isn't that the whole plot of that? I didn't. When she goes in, she's flicking the switches. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if that was a backup or just the main generator. Or you know, maybe it is. Because they said yeah. they reset the whole. It might system. be. Yeah. Um, but yeah. you know, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter that much. But uh, I, just the fact that they're, you know, open an amusement park for targeted audiences kids yeah and they've got like you know two feet gaps between the electric wires that a kid could probably just jump through anyway that never yeah. made sense there's no gap when the t-rex crosses and then when it's pushing like the, there's a gap i never that again mm-hmm. really weird never made yeah. sense to me a little lack of continuity but yeah you know that it works though yeah it still great works sequence. out great sequence jurassic park yeah what about the third movie's intro? It's okay. Can can you remind so, me what it is? So, <laughs> yeah. It's like the uncle and the exactly. kid are paragliding. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they're all like, oh, man, where's the boat rocking? And then all <laughs> of a sudden they look down and the boat's empty. I actually like that. Um, it kind of sets a tone for it a little bit. It's seems. the weakest for me. Of it might be the weakest after rewatching all three of them now. Yeah. But it's still pretty good. It's and then okay. later on they find the footage later and they have to rewind yeah. the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What attacked the boat? Yeah. I've never understood what attacked the boat. I was thinking it was either the pterodactyls or the... Um, the Spinosaurus? The, the new T-Rex, yeah. yeah. The, the one with the fin. I guess the one that would make the, the most alligator. sense would, I guess, be the pteranodons. Ter- ter- mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess the Spinosaurus. I don't know, man. I I've never was, really... Have you seen the new movies? They have, like, a water monster that eats a bunch of people like, into the water. But that was never in the first three. That's it's true. like, you know... No, right. Yeah, I, I don't know. It would be it's... cool if they showed just like a little hint of something like that. You know, the island's not safe, and then even the waters around it right. are screwed. Yeah. It would, those know. guys are just like running this little operation of like um like sightseeing around. But you're not going to see anything. I never understood that either. Like, you're not going to see the, just the, from the outside of the island. Tourist trap. You know? That's yeah. another inconsistency, too, because in the second one, they're like, oh, these are the islas de los... De, los know, cinco, cinco, los cinco muertos. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. Spanish. But, uh... Then in the third one, it's like some Costa Rican dude, and he's like, "Yeah, this is fine. I make money off." Yeah, this. the the yeah, guy won't. It. He's telling Vince Vaughn he's not going to take him there because he hears all these horror stories from fishermen right. of not returning and stuff. Yeah, good point. Mm-hmm. But Very I guess uh, money can uh, change well, anybody's money mind. Talks bullshit books. Yeah, <laughs> changes Gr- Alan Grant's mind, and in the first one, and then uh, did I say that when we were recording? Yeah, Ian, Mal- I did. Okay. You were saying he's the only one. Ian Malcolm's the only one that he does it for a noble reason, not mm-hmm. for money. Yeah. And why? Why is uh, his girlfriend there, Maude? She, <laughs> Maude. Maude. She, um, she's just the thrill of discovery. Is that she, that's her job? It? She's a paleo bot. No, what is she? I forget what she is, but yeah, she's like, um, that's her. That's her. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Field. Yeah, it's her field of uh, career. Because she, he does say like, why didn't you tell me you were coming here? You would have never let me come if I, I had tied told you, you to the bed. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, "Hey, chill out." Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Again, I just—I don't know. I've always liked this. Jeff Gold. Oh, ooh, ah, that's how this starts. And there's <laughs> running and screaming. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum's got that laid-back way of just acting. Yeah, it seems like he barely cares. Yeah, like uh, I like yeah. in the first one when uh, he gets put in the hut that the lawyer on the toilet, which is also a fun. Fun oh kill. yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> one, of, um, one of the best. Yeah, and then when they pull up in the gas jeep, Laura Dern and the other guy, the hunter guy. They just kind of hear Jeff Goldblum's like, Meh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's not screaming. Meh. Tell, tell John or um, remind me to tell John. Thank you for a happy weekend or whatever he says. Yeah. yeah. Or a wonderful weekend. Yeah. <laughs> you guys like Ian Malcolm? Yeah. He's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. He's chill, dude, man. He's always been my favorite character. Oh, some people don't like him, and I can kind of see why. He's, he can be, I guess, maybe a little obnoxious. 
but um, I've always liked yeah. him. He, I mean, yeah. you know, he's the only one that tells. Well, that's not true, but he's kind of the the first. Per- like, he's like he's not sold at all the whole the time. Whole yeah, yeah. I mean, he kind of gets a kick out of the Brachiosaurus, but mm-hmm. like he's you know right away he's kind of telling Hammond that you know this this isn't this shit's not right. Yeah, he has the whole like uh, God creates man, yeah, man or dinosaur man, blah 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 goes back and forth yeah right man destroys god man uh brings back creates a dinosaur or yeah. whatever it is yeah he's you know the chaos this isn't right exactly. like you have to let the natural the world like naturally do this stuff i don't yeah. agree with his um he uh you know when um hammond's like condors condors are on the verge of extinction now if i was to create a flock of condors on this island you wouldn't have anything to say about it. He's like, this is not, you know, the result of a deforestation or the building of a dam. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs had their shot, and nature selected them for extinction. That's not true. Mm-hmm. They, they got killed by a meteor. How's that, like... Cataclysmic event. Yeah, that's not nature. Like, you know, they would I still think, be around if that hadn't happened, probably. I think he does. You know? I think he does kind of equate, like, God and nature, it seems like, from I guess so, talks. yeah. Chaos. Yeah. You know, that's... If it's something happened, it was, like, meant to happen, basically. Seems like, anyway. All That's the, his ethos. Yeah, all yeah, exactly. Um, all the other stuff I kinda agree with what he says. Like, um he's like, you know, there was no uh dis you didn't there wasn't any discipline to obtain it or something. It's like, you know, he stood on the shoulders of geniuses and he read what others have done and you know, you yeah, you, you before you even knew what you had, you you you, pat, you patented it and packaged it and slapped it on a glass of lunchbox. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good scene when they're they're talking. Yeah, no, I like how he gives it to Hammond basically. Yeah. Over and over again. Yeah. Changes his mind by the end of the movie at least. Yeah. Very, very it, convincing. It had to take Newman to fuck everything up. <laughs> yeah, and his grandkids almost dying. And you know what the funny thing is, is it might have worked if Newman hadn't fucked shit up. You know, maybe it might have worked. Well, yeah. that's Hammond's fault. Shouldn't got cheap. Exactly. On him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what he. That's what he says, right? When he's talking to Dogson or whatever. I mean, honestly, could you imagine? You have to do. You did. You have one guy that you rely on that did two million lines of code and all this stuff. Right. He calls him Dad. He's like, thanks, Dad. But I think he's yeah, sarcasm. Yeah. yeah. I, I took it as sarcasm anyway. Yeah. Otherwise, I think he'd care a little bit more. They yeah. Don't, you know, they don't have the same last name or anything. Yeah. Nedry. Yeah, no, he uh, he may have, Hammond, he may have over-relied a little bit on Dennis yeah. Nedry. Yeah. Put all his chips into the wrong uh, pile. I, don't know. I think I heard you guys talking about um, God and nature. This time on my rewatch for number one, I noticed Hammond is a very godlike figure. He's in all white. Yeah. He insists on being there for the birth of all of his creations. And that again fucks up too. When, you know, we 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 made all the islands or all the dinosaurs on on site B the other island. No, you didn't. You made them right there. What are <laughs> yeah. you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. And sorry to interrupt you. To yeah. It. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, and then I also watched a um, video. They said that whenever he's talking about dinosaurs, he's backlit. And when they're in like a little boardroom talking about what they all think, he's sitting in front of the projector and right. he has like a glow around his head. Mm-hmm. I've always really liked that, place. like the projectors going. I, for some reason, I've always really um, liked that atmosphere. Yeah, it's, it's pretty aesthetically yeah. pleasing. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah, he's definitely playing God. Yeah, um, um, and they say yeah. that. You know, and I, one thing I think interesting about his character is he seems like um, he seems flawed when he talks. Like uh, he he almost slips into uh, I don't know more country bumpkin like scottish accent sometimes and he'll correct himself yeah i wish huh. i could think of the specific examples but i know it happens a few times in the movie where he's like talking and he's like oh i'm sorry i mean uh, blah 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 and maybe that's because he's trying to play god and he, he's not doing it right you know yeah it's, yeah, not, it's not perfect you're yeah. talking about hammond yeah mm-hmm. huh. yeah it's like sometimes when he's talking um i don't know maybe we can catch some sound clips or something you know, get your endorsement maybe you can pen a, a wee testimonial i could get back on schedule uh schedule uh, wonderful I had uh, a wee trapeze and a uh, uh, medica, um, car- carousel. Huh. Alejandro's uh, prepared a delightful menu for us. Chilean sea bass, I believe. Uh, shall we? I kind of get that vibe, too. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, so he's not perfect, definitely. And he realizes that by the end, at least. Uh, and then he's definitely totally redeemed in the second one when he's like, this is, I just wanted the nature preserve. You know? I like what he says, though. Like, he's like, I'm not making the same mistakes again. No, no, you're, you're making all new ones. Yeah. <laughs> it's very I, say, I say that a lot. Like, like if something silly happens, I go, well, we won't do that. We'll just make new mistakes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's a lot of mistakes 
Especially in the second and third ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole second movie is a mistake. I mean, I like it, but it, the, the, there's so why many mistakes. You, I got to ask you, why do yeah, you so like the you second like? one? Because I, I feel like, like it, it captured the first movie the best. That's the only other Jurassic Park movie that I feel I think feels like Jurassic Park. Well, it is still directed by Spielberg. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that makes Even sense. though he Same didn't writers. do that great of a job, <laughs> it's, the, it's also the only other one based off of a book. Um, even though the book was written just to make that movie for, you know, getting cash grab. But oh, really? Yeah. yeah they <laughs> made, it, it sounds like they made Michael Crichton write Lost World so they could make it into a movie. So they, they went to Michael Crichton and they said, you know, I could put in the Lost on this World, check. like, it broke fucking so many records when it came out, like, opening day uh, or opening weekend records. Like, it set a shit ton. That makes sense. I'm sure they were all broken, like, pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. But, um,. Yeah, it was like the third highest grossing movie. I think that was probably the most anticipated sequel of the 90s. Wow. I think. I mean, I, like, from what I read, how it did commercially. Like, mm-hmm. it was a huge success, hence why they made three. Not Home Alone 2? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Home Alone 2 probably made a lot of money. but yeah, Probably. Um, I mean, Home Alone was big, but Jurassic Park was yeah, Jurassic phenom- Park phenomenon. Was dinosaur size exactly exactly i do like the premise now that i understand it a little bit better after watching the first one they explain uh the dinosaurs have like a lysine deficiency they're genetically programmed to I like die they, out if they, they don't have lysine or something it's also like uh like don't listen and you'll miss it um when julianne moore explains that in the second movie yeah. it's like there's soy and something else on that island that the herbivores eat and then the carnivores eat the herbivores it's not, it's not a bad um explanation yeah you know? I really like that. it's well, kind of throwaway dialogue but at least it kind of um fills that uh plot hole no Ooh. actually i don't i think the way they handled it was terrible because they say <laughs> they like i think it's the hunter guy he's like well what about the lysine deficiency and they're like yeah we don't know they're just hammond, anyway. no hammond goes that's absolutely out of the question like, oh, why in the first one yeah right? yeah, 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 yeah 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 i don't know why maybe because he's you know his god's creations he didn't want to break but i'm talking about in the second one they say what about the lysine deficiency how can they uh yeah malcolm says that he's like i thought you bred them licensed lysine contained or yeah whatever and the says. scientist is just like yeah that's the crazy thing they're still doing it and well, I'm like no what? hammond no hammond says point. hammond says that he's like he's like yes and that's why i want you to go in and you know yeah. find one of my one of my thousands of questions <laughs> yeah because right. like site b it's it's weird like site b got wiped like torn apart by a hurricane or something Mm-hmm. And it just kind of just let the the hurricane from the first movie, I think. I, I don't. Yeah, he says uh, he names it like Hurricane Chelsea or something. Hmm. Um, I don't think it's the hurricane from the first movie. It sounded like it happened like a year or two after. Uh, um, makes sense. Maybe let more time for them to run wild. And yeah, get up and running. Exactly, because that's one of my favorite scenes too. When Vince Vaughn's walking around that village center, mm-hmm. I've always liked that. I like again just that. They kind of do it in the third one too. There's a lot of like rundown things that they come across. It's it's cool, but the third one does it better. I think, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's the second one. I just I like when he walks in and like he gets startled by the Jurassic Park, um, yeah, like uh, mural. Mm-hmm. I've always liked that. It's right behind him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's one thing too I found really interesting about the second movie. It's like people almost don't like Ian Malcolm went and kind of just told his story. And like he like a lot of people don't believe him. It's almost like he's like a crackpot. I always thought that was really interesting. And I kind of feel like maybe that's Vince Vaughn's like shit. Like he what he said was right. Like here it is. Mm, yeah. Right. Like when his they... realization. Like yeah, it was an actual thing. Yeah. Even though he's oh, looking shit. at dinosaurs throughout the whole movie. But you know, <laughs> that's one thing too. I was like, what do you think you're gonna see? He's like uh, animals, like uh, yeah. big big iguanas. He calls them fruit cakes. Yeah. Although then, but that's weird too, because he was, he's like, uh, Hammond gave me another job and he pulls out his little wrench kit and everything. Yeah. Sabotage. Yeah, saboteur, <laughs> sabotage. Yeah. Yeah. This I, guy can do it all. I've never understood that either. He's like, Hammond told me these guys might show up before we were done. It's like, well, doesn't that defeat the purpose of you going there to study the animals that they're taking them all away? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, it's, it's a little, and again, if Vince Vaughn hadn't fucked it up, it might've worked. Right. They yeah. might've safely soundly um taking them to san diego and had a dinosaur theme park because they do say um if you stay on the coastline basically right although in the third one they flip it uh, that's what i and that's a problem i have the the third one too yeah little, and again where, where was the spinosaurus in the second one you know good question where, you know yeah <laughs> i don't exactly, think it had yeah. been discovered yet had it 
He was swimming. Oh, like, what do you mean, like, by paleontologists? Like, in real life? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Did you guys know there's a bigger, badder dinosaur than a T-Rex? That'll put seats in the butts and seats. That's right. It'll put seats in the butts. <laughs> yeah, it'll put seats in the butts. <laughs> Go for it. Shot in the butt. Yeah. Yeah, he nice. just pops up randomly. I like in the third one, um, they're digging through the piles of poop. The Spinosaurus, you called it, right? And uh, the T-Rex just, like, comes up. It's something it's different. It's got like a horn. Oh, is it? I okay, forget so it's what not it's. A T-Rex? Yeah, I forget it's what similar, it's called. Similar, big looking. Yeah, yeah, very similar. Yeah, it just uh, walks away. That's funny. I thought it was a T Rex, but yeah, no. They he, do that joke where they don't move, and yeah. then it just walks away. So maybe oh, that's what they were implying. That... It's not a T Rex though. I don't know what it is. I yeah. probably knew at some point. Mm-hmm. Big, big old dinosaur. Yeah. I, I thought maybe it was like it smelled because I think it smells. I thought maybe it smelled the Spinosaurus poop, and it was like, yeah, I'm getting the fuck that out might, of here. Yeah, <laughs> that might a be big it. Whiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. You know what I was sad didn't come back around in the third movie was the uh, little wild thornberry kid that's running around. He had like a jar of T Rex pee, and he's like, uh, uh, yeah. Alan Grant's like, what do you do with this? Or and he's like, don't touch that. Like it attracts the Spinosaurus or something like that. I was ready for them to throw it at a dinosaur or something. You that's know? that's a good point. It was just oh, a joke. It doesn't have a payoff. Yeah, where huh. was the jar of pee? It's like um, he's like, how'd you get it? Yeah, you don't want to know. Yeah, literally. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. This little kid throwing smoke grenades and stuff. Yeah, and he's got uh, you know, leaves all tied yeah. around him and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was cool at least. It's fine, I guess. It's it, you know, it's a silly movie, so it kind of right. fits the silliness, I guess. I mean, it's no more silly than the chick doing gymnastics, kicking the raptor out of the <laughs> window. So yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's the uh, second one. Take a break so from Obi Wan and watch Jurassic Park two and three. You got to watch some real <laughs> cinema. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. The um, uh, I just I don't know. It, it felt like the third one was kind of meant to be more action. Yeah. I think hence like the yeah. ninety minute runtime and everything. Right. Yeah. But then the, with point. the second one, it felt like they were trying to build on it more. Yeah. But they went and just gutted, you know, the first movie. Come in. Yeah. In, in a lot of ways, at least. Very the true. The whole first 15 minutes of just retconning. And yeah. I was like, oh, man, like, come on. And then even, yeah, that's I think I said it already, but I liked um, Ian Malcolm kind of as just this enigmatic chaotician. Yeah. We a really lot of people prefer that. got to dig into that. him more. I, I prefer like, it, too. Mm-hmm. But I don't mind. I don't know. I've just never minded him in this. I always found it kind of a little bit relatable. The way he acts in that is probably the way I would act. I would be probably pissed off and mm-hmm. want to get the hell out of there. Yeah, he, he is at least... Like you said, noble. Yeah. He has good intentions. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh let's get into this gym <laughs> scene. I like this sequence. The sequence pre- it's pretty uh tense. I remember thinking it was pretty good, like them going in and out. I've always really liked the the design of the raptors and I like how they have the tiger stripes. I've always like my toys had that. I always thought it was my favorite raptor design. They're different from all three. Yeah. yeah. And for me freeze the, the weakest they just look they, and the, the frills on them yeah. i never like that just looks silly hey, you. what <laughs> Classic. That might be the only raptor kill of the movie. Classic. I think it is, yeah. It, it the, seems, school, the school cut you from the team? It seems kind of silly, but that is kind of cool how it like, dies. Yeah, it's falling the spike. The, it yeah. could be worse. That is not That is not the problem with that movie. No. Can we talk about the problem with that? Do you guys like the ending of that movie? I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, someday you gotta... I'd like to hear your opinion on it. No, it's, yeah. it's so... It's just there's a bunch of scenes I felt like in that movie that are just so useless. Like uh, the whole thing, like he, it runs through San Diego and then it, they chase it back to the boat it's, and lock it back up. I'm like, why did you even need to go? It, make, it makes no fucking sense. The uh, the boat crashes. It makes I don't even know where to begin. The boat crashes. <laughs> um, that kind of remind me of like his jaws. Spielberg's Jaws, because it had the boat. I, the well, ghost boat. It's called SS Venture. That's the boat in King Kong. It's, oh, a, yeah. it's a whole... It's, King Kong. It was, it's George Lucas syndrome. I think George Lucas King just Kong-y. wanted to, like, I want to pay homage to King Kong, and no one told him, is that a good idea? Yeah. Well, this tacked-on ending that feels like it's another movie. 
Is this a good idea? It's like I said, it feels like the beginning of the yeah. 1997 or whatever Godzilla. Yeah, exactly. In, the, in America. Yes. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, they're tracking the boat, and it's coming in. They're like, you please slow down. Slow yeah, down. SS Venture, reduce your speed at once. Yeah. Um, well, Ian said earlier that it felt a little tacked on, for the ending. And I was watching a YouTuber, uh, Fun Fact Films. They said that they had a different ending where they're hang gliding to get off the island. That's how the book ends. Yeah, and yeah. then they were like, mm, last minute, like five months before production or something, let's tack on this ending. It, so it literally was yes. tacked on. So <laughs> as a child, I had an action figure of Ian Malcolm and it came with a hang glider. Oh, that's cool. And I was always confused why it came with a hang glider because there's no hang gliders in the movie. Now, now we know because yeah. that's how it's supposed to end. Mm-hmm. There's a, a whole sequence. They're going to get attacked by pteranodons. Yeah, yeah. And that's how they escaped the island. But no. <laughs> Instead, they just tease the pteranodons at the end. Yeah. The um, okay, my main problem, well, not my main, one of my many main problems with the ending, the ship crashes because the crew got killed. How the hell did the crew get killed? Because the T-Rex is still trapped. Exactly. Yeah. The T- Okay, uh, so when they find, they go into the, um, whatever you call it, the, the quarters where they, they um, commandeer the ship, it's a it's a it's kind of a decent line like um they walk in and then like he's like where's the crew he goes all over the place and there's a there's a hand mm-hmm. but on it, the wheel it, it's just so stupid because a the t-rex never could get in there it's it makes no fucking sense yeah. it's Maybe so it stupid Nosferatu. yeah exactly it's so the t-rex it's so the spirits and like <laughs> there there are people say like um there were supposed to be like raptors that got aboard the ship and wrecked havoc that doesn't make any sense because if a boat was uh, like picking the t-rex up it would have had to have been on the outside of the island, which we were told the carnivores hang out on the inside of the island. What the hell are rap? It's, some people say the pteranodons did it. It doesn't matter. It's not told in the movie. It's just fucking stupid. Yeah, they just let you try to figure it out. It's just I, it's I so fucking they stupid. They were insinuating because they find that hand clutching the little opening thing. I thought they were maybe insinuating like some guy died closing it back in, maybe. I don't know how it, they were going to do that. It doesn't make any... But what killed them? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I, I think somehow it got out of the cargo hold. This is what I'm thinking the movie wanted you to think. Um, somehow it got out of the cargo hold, got out on the boat, wreaked havoc, and some like last survivor guy basically, I don't know, ran into the cargo hold, lured it in there, closed the button, and as he's getting ripped to shreds, like his hand flies out with the still in hand, the, the button. It's a very big stretch. <laughs> But I kind of felt like that's how you're supposed to feel about it because remember they fu- they like make such a big deal of showing his hand on the ground with the thing on it and they like pick it up and they're like oh this must be the button to open the cargo hold and doesn't somebody hit it somebody's like hmm, what is this button yeah then Ian Malcolm's trying to get him not to don't push that button yeah yeah, he's like, yeah. Oh, I don't. yeah. what a dummy it's just uh, I can't I've ne- even as a kid I didn't even like it like <laughs> it's just so it, the the whole stupid shit with like going to the the house and drinking out of the pool and. It's so fucking dumb. Hey, the best part about that is uh, when they recreate kind of from the first scene uh, the sheep or the cow or whatever. Yeah, with the dog. Eat. It yeah. eats the dog. Yeah. Said it's the dog. Although he yeah, the, the chain in its mouth. Which Hilarious. <laughs> it kills. This is going to so kill him. In the, in I the clapped. Movie. Yeah, <laughs> we clapped. <laughs> God. Yeah. Like, congratulations. You just ruined this movie. They congratulations. Sent, they sent a T Rex to San Diego to kill a dog. So, uh, and, and, and then brought her back a, onto a ship. They k- kills the screenwriter of the movie. Um, that's the guy, the guy that gets killed. Like I think it's outside the blockbuster or something. It's the screenwriter in the oh. movie. That was a pretty brutal kill too. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's you know, right. It's, yeah, I forgot more people died. Yeah. About the third one. The second this one. This is the an one. ending of the second one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's like midnight, but there's hella townspeople. I never around, understood that so either. They're all I down never. The street. Oh, Godzilla, we're Godzilla. we're led to believe that that happens all in the same night. Like Jeff Goldblum, uh, they have time to change. He shaves. He's clean shaven. Like it's the same time to go from Costa Rica. It's like, it's like, wait, let me stop. Let's shave, change our clothes. Okay, now let's go. Drop like off it. the kid at home. Let's go pick up the red convertible. <laughs> and that's it. You know, Vince Vaughn. We never hear from him again. That's oh, true. true. Yeah, he just it's, disappears. Yeah, it's so it's bad, man. Like, I, so my reasoning, I still like the movie because I like the other two thirds of it mm-hmm. a decent amount. One third of the movie, that's not half, so I can still get it. But every time, it's, I must even consider like turning it off. Right. I was watching it again, but I was falling like, asleep no, at the end. No, keep you know, watch watch the rest and. I think it's an homage to like you were saying, uh, the ship's named after King Kong ship. It is kind of like an homage to those 
big um, monster Godzilla. films. Yeah, monster That's why films. they. I think I said it before we were recording, but they have like the Japanese dudes that yeah. are running as well, and they're like, oh. It just doesn't. Gojira. But it's just so ham fisted and right. for sure. It just Definitely. doesn't. It just doesn't work. It yeah. does feel like a big ad blockbuster. Gas station seventy six. Burger King sign on the bus. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we made that money. Had a Burger King tie in. Mm-hmm. Um. There is a Burger King next to a 76. There's a Carl's oh. Jr. burger out right now for the new right. Jurassic Park. Yeah, I, I keep seeing it on the freeway. Last yeah. night we ate. There we go. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, some people say that the only part that they like of the second movie is the ending. And, you know, they could just have fun with it. And sure. But I just, to me, it just different strokes, grinds, different grinds my gears. I think when I saw the trailer as a kid, I, that's the part I was excited for. Was, they don't. Oh, they're th- going to the city. They're going to the city. They don't show it, and that's one thing I will give them credit for. They didn't spoil that in the marketing for really? the second one. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. I think and I, I give them credit, for, even though it's, in my opinion, horrible. At least they didn't spoil it. Like it was a surprise for people in the theater. At least that they had that. But yeah, you compare that to uh, Jason. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth Eight, Jason takes Manhattan. That's they what market I was thinking. it. Yeah, they market it like you know. And he's, this time it's Jason in New York and City. He's barely there. And yep. it's just like this movie. It's the yeah. last twenty minutes. Cocktees, yeah. Yeah, but it, but no, th- very different, right? Because the Friday the Thirteenth was supposed to be in Manhattan. This right. Was the yeah, lost it's got world. Opposite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Not the not fucking San Diego havoc or whatever yeah. the fuck they would call it. That I damn feel, retconning. The Lost World. Sorry. I feel like I played a like a fighting game for Jurassic Park 2. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Where you're fighting in front of a 76. Whoa. Has like different dinosaurs, T-Rex. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. They do have the two raptors fight in the second one. I think. That's kind of, yeah. It, it's how they get away, basically. Yeah. The raptors just start fighting amongst themselves. Yeah. Um, Not very smart creatures, I thought. Uh, Matt and I went to the barcade downtown um, Friday night, and... They have the Lost World there. Oh, really? And I saw Matt oh, like, yeah, nice. I watched this today. He's like, is that the one with the the trailers? I'm like, yep. I think that's uh, the best. Tra- the trailers are the best scene in the movie. It's getting pushed iconic. off off the cliff. I just it's, thought that was long. Uh, it, yeah. Drawn out. Yeah. But it is cool, you know, him trying to save them. Would, so, would you, would you say you have a favorite scene in the second one? Uh, I'd have to get back to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Also, did you know watch some so close? I, I'm mixing up, I think, parts of the That's second and the third. Word. Carlos, do you have a favorite scene in the second one? It felt very Mad Maxy, but when the poachers land on the island and they start chasing all of the people on their vehicles. I used to recreate that as a kid all the time. <laughs> With That's your toys. cool. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, okay, so I had the Pachycephalosaurus. You could put its head in and it ram, and I had a Jeep, and you could do you could recreate it. Like, a part of the Jeep would come off. Oh, that's so cool. fucking cool, dude. <laughs> so fucking cool. It felt a little Three Stooges on this watch through, though. Like, they're all flying all over the place. Oh, oh, oh no, you got him. <laughs> yeah. Grab a hold of him, grab a hold of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're, kinda, they're kinda morons, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the hunters yeah. aren't so good. Well, it's kind of yeah. trying to show, like, these. this first unit is, like, conservators, and they're just trying to observe, and then you have these idiot hunters coming through yeah although there is one guy who looks super hippie-ish who knows like everything about the dumbass dinosaurs. that gets eaten by the t-rex because he's afraid of the snake yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was upsetting God, that's oh. so dumb oh, there's a snake on me yeah he just runs let me from... run into the mouth of the t-rex yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> but, it's stupid but you'll go hunting for dinosaurs but he's not a yeah. he's like he's like their um Scientist. research guy oh, yeah okay yeah. he's like more peaceful yes. he looks like kind of like a hippie almost yeah yeah, yeah wears jean jackets nice yes. guy yeah, yeah, exactly. But he, yeah, he, they're, gosh, that scene yeah. is so dumb, it, running from the snake. I was upset watching that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like you when, the, when the guy gets stepped on? Oh. Tr- uh, like, so like it, he, he, like, sticks to the bottom of the T-Rex foot. <laughs> oh, is that the guy that was listening to the headphones? <laughs> the dumbass with the mariachi music, yeah. 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 He's the one who ru- ruins every, like, he screams and wakes everybody up, and that's when the, okay, another reason. Them, yeah. Okay, so one thing I think that movie did right, they have two T-Rexes now. I always liked that. I did And like a baby that. T-Rex, the juvenile. Man, if that movie was made today, that baby T-Rex would be like baby Groot, you know? It'd, yeah, it'd be baby Yoda, friend. baby yeah. Leia. They did it way before all that, yeah. <laughs> baby T-Rex. Yeah, good yeah. on Jurassic Park. It was cool to have two, because then they're in the car, and like you know, just like the first one, the, the eye comes yeah. through the window, but then but there's an eye on the other not, window. Yeah, yeah, I've always You're liked screwed. that. What were you saying, Carlos? Or were you, was someone saying something? I think I was just saying my favorite scene probably would have to be that um, tall grass scene you were talking about with the velociraptors yeah, closing yeah. in. It, it did feel very Jaws. You yes. know, they're swimming through tall grass yep. instead of water. But Yeah. Yeah, and you know, like, you knew all those guys were screwed that whole— I think they all die. 
Yeah. I think all of them die. The only one that gets away is like the main bad guy, uh, Hammond's nephew, who's very yeah. forgettable. I exactly. For- yeah, about him he's not. Name. He's just a snobby British dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just kind of one dimensional. Yeah. I would say, he, though. Uh, can I, just real quick. He brings up actually kind of a decent point when um, Vince Vaughn's like, you have a looter mentality. You have no right to take these animals. He's like, well, we made these things. Yeah, we kind of do. They're <laughs> ours. Yeah. We, you know. He says they're our property. I yeah. Yeah. And he's right. Technically, yeah. He's kind of right. Is it a decent thing to do? No, but it is, uh, you know, they did make them. Like, they kind of have every right to come in here and take them. And obviously there's some other business who's also interested in this because uh, Newman in the first movie when he's trying to sell the company secrets, he's like... called Biosyn. I don't know if they say it it in the book. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, you'll catch up on 10 years of research, 15 years of research, whatever. So they're not the only ones trying to make dinosaurs. Exactly. Secrets out a little bit. Yep. Except then it's not, apparently, Uh, because Ian Malcolm gets... it's trying to get hushed-hushed or something. He he signed an NDA. He did sign an NDA. He signed a non-disclosure agreement about the park. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pull up the definition for our audience. Yeah, thank you. you. Yeah, I need to... um, Whoever edits this will put in a screenshot of what NDA means. (laughs) Uh, Well, the first scene in the first movie scared the shit out of me as a kid. It is pretty unsettling. Yeah, like, watching the guy... I always thought he was getting, like, sucked... It kind of looks like it. Like I always, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, is he getting sucked into some tube? Or, that's mm, probably what. Like, the, that's probably what the effect was. <laughs> Maybe like they had some big vacuum yeah. that the guy's getting sucked uh, into. Yeah, and it's like, where, where's he going? Is yeah, he, is, he, is he going into like some void? Is he like in the eat the like <laughs> dino hell? A that's of a velociraptor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, <laughs> dino hell. So funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I love uh, pretty much all. Well. I don't know if I love all the characters, but do you have a, like? Is there a character you kind of have a problem with? Probably the kids. Yeah. Yeah, sure. the girl was definitely upsetting me sometimes. But they're not. But they're that kids. bad though. I can tolerate them. They're not yeah. Anakin Skywalker. Mm. They're not Baby Leia. <laughs> Fuck Star Wars. No, I'm kidding. I like Star Wars a lot, but um, not, not the kids aren't that great in it, but um. I don't know, like, they serve their purpose, you know? Mm. They're not, like, do, is there anything that they do specifically that you're like, Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up? Or? Not really. Not not that far, no. But, um, I, man, I, I love Newman in this movie. <laughs> I love Newman so much. Yeah. Anybody want a soda or something? It's like, yeah. Hey, get the stick. Uh, come on. <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> Whenever I think of the first film, I think of that part where the I don't even know what that dinosaur is called Dilophosaurus which apparently didn't spit venom and have a frill oh bummer and apparently it's like way taller they did Christian called it a raptor I thought it was a raptor they made it small so people wouldn't get it confused with a raptor Uh, yeah yeah yeah. it took a lot of liberties for Mm -hmm. sure I think well I think it was a book the book and kind of had the spitting the shaving cream the barbasol Uh, yeah (laughs) Yep. It looks yeah. kind of satisfying, you know, if you, if you oh. forget the fact that it's, like, shaving cream. Oh, I would be fooling around with that all. I would be tinkering with that yeah. all day. Yeah. That sounds, that seems Letting so all fun. The to, out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, oh, man. And just, like, putting all the, which I don't know how they knew, like, the DNA was going to be, like, in those little, like. Probably two, from Newman. I, maybe, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so yeah. they specifically designed this Barbersol shaving cream can. Yeah. I like that it is, like, handily labeled everything in the in the lab. He just pulls up those two little, you know, cryogenically frozen or whatever. Apparently some of the dinosaurs are misspelled. <laughs> oh, I forget wow. which ones. That's pretty bad oversight. You, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd, yeah. Think, you'd think the, the set design would get that one right. Yeah, but, like, eh. yeah, yeah, no. There's some bad concept, like, um, when the raptor hatches... There's like a hand, like the mechanical hand behind the egg, and then the next shot, it's gone. It's oh, like, oh, that's bad. I think <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah, this time. that's pretty bad continuity. Yeah, I didn't notice it at least. So, well, because yeah. it makes sense because you're so invested in exactly. what's going on. You're that, just you know, to watch. That's like, probably why they just didn't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's one thing too. I really, you know, everyone's reactions. To, I. That's why, again, maybe the world movies I don't have that much of a connection with because they're so CGI'd. Mm-hmm. I think in the first movie I heard or read that there's a total of six minutes of CGI throughout the whole movie. Oh, wow. Which yeah, is it's pretty amazing. Um, that's why, like, you know, when, you know, like, you buy that it's a real thing. And I think I bring this up with Corey Feldman and Gremlins, like, his interaction with Gizmo, I was really like, it's the same thing, you know, and, like, it was like, very good, whoosh. Mm-hmm. Whoosh, like it's just he moves like the just, shell out of the way yeah the same thing with like the baby t-rex in the second movie mm-hmm. i always thought that just great animatronics 
the, 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 the juvenile stegosaurus when she's touching it and everything, just kind of dumb. But isn't aren't the T Rex uh, some of the shots of the T Rex in the first one animatronics as well? Yeah, like the little scale. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It still looks that, great. That's why it looks so good. I think. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. were watching a video where they showed like uh, they cut at one point from the puppet and then they like go down with the camera and then all of a sudden it's CGI as it runs away. Yeah. It's great. That's the way I think CGI should be used. Mm -hmm. Not right. just overabundance. No, not all CGI, but just fill in the kind of gaps. Exactly. Basically. Exactly. Yeah, because you have to create some sort of scope, you know. You can't, exactly. Yeah. You can't do that all puppets and scale models and stuff like yeah, that. Exactly. So. I agree. Yeah. A special effect without a story is a pretty boring thing. Right? Yeah. Who said that, Christian? Oh, you know. James Cameron? No. <laughs> yeah, that would fit, though. Mm -hmm. Avatar. Old, old George. Judge. Oh, really? Yep. Back, back when he was he talented, was too yeah, gnarly. Turn to the dark side. He's like, you know, this computer graphics stuff makes a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. Wow, wow. You can save a ton of money and time by, yeah. It's the wave of the future. I feel bad too, cause you know, like I've always hated on uh, CGI and some people that do it are really talented and stuff. Yeah, you know, for sure. And it's like you said, it has its uses. Yeah. In, in a movie like this, I feel like this is some of the best special effects. In any movie. Same. Oh, yeah. yeah. Same. Same. Hold up. This did actually break new ground. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. yeah, it broke new ground. Mm -hmm. It really did. It broke a lot of ground. Yep. I think the first one won some awards, too. It, it should have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it deserved it. Which ones? Just for the like the special effects? Probably. The sound design. Really sound great design. sound design. That's true. Really great sound design. Yeah, all the, all we the were dinosaur roars. It. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. All, all of the movies, actually, I thought, yeah. had good sound design. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, the there we go. Uh, 1994 Sam. Academy Award for the best visual effects. Yeah, best. Uh, there we go. Best sound mixing. Yeah. Sound editing. A BAFTA for visual effects. Sounds People's about right. Choice Award for sound Favorite mixing movie. and sound editing. Best director for Saturn. Yeah. It it is good writing in the first one I thought, and it's crazy because then I think the writing is kind of a weak point in the second one, but it's the same guys. It's, yeah, I know yeah. it's weird, well, and it's you know still happened? based off of Michael Crichton. I think just you know they're just. Let's get this out. Let's get this out. Probably. Michael Crichton's written a few before. He wrote, um, we Kong watched it recently. Congo. We watched it recently? Congo. Where there's a Roman world. Uh, oh, he made world. that movie. I don't think that was a book. Westworld. Oh, you don't think that he wrote it, though? No, I, well, he direct. I think he probably wrote it, but it wasn't a book. It was just a, strictly a movie. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, he directed that. A lot of people don't remember that. He was a director also. Michael Crichton? Michael Crichton. I think, Crichton. yeah, he might, that might be... Maybe he's only, I don't know. But he did direct Westworld and probably wrote it as well. That's a good one, too. Very talented guy. Wow. Yeah. The old one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. I yeah, Michael him. Crichton's, I think, passed away, <clears throat> unfortunately. Rest in peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When was the first book written? I don't think there were books. I think it was just a movie in the 70s. No, I mean movie. Jurassic Park. Oh, um, 89, 90, I want to say. Mm. Wow. Just yeah. a couple of years before the movie yeah, came out. Yeah, big deal and... That'll make a good movie. Let's yeah. get Spielberg. <laughs> Spielberg's like, this book that just came out, I'm going to make a movie about yep. it. Jaws, Jurassic Park. I don't know what else. Good on paper and screen. I think the book of Jurassic Park is better than the book of Jaws. I've never read Jaws, but from what Carlos told me, it doesn't sound that... Yeah. It's a totally different thing. It sounded yeah. a lot different than the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of differences in uh, the book uh, with Jurassic Park as well, but mm -hmm. I remember... I never read it all, but I remember thinking it was decent. I liked it. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff like um, they include in the sequels again, like the opening with like the attacks, and then um, the the aviary in the third movie was in the book of the first one. Oh, that's a uh, I was gonna bring that up. That's yeah. my favorite scene from the Same. third one. Yeah, that's like my only. That's only like wh what? What is there another good scene in the third movie? Dude. To be honest, the third and second one are kind of forgettable to me. But really, number three is action packed. They but land on the island initially. And then there's immediately shooting, which we don't get a lot of shooting in the original ones. They just, I mean, we get in a the second bit, one, they're just like randomly shooting their their guns. And then in the um, first movie, the gun jams. It's a really weird scene when the gun jams. It's like it shows the glass, and there's like bullet holes, but you shoot them with a shotgun. <laughs> I never got I that. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awkward scene, but no. but then that guy immediately gets eaten as the plane's taken off. You get a plane crash. That's so, so I never. So they go movie. there. They go there <laughs> to rescue the kid, and then they immediately leave. It's like, oh well, you just wasted your shot. Yeah, you yeah, know, like, like let's go, let's go. Yeah, because you know, spine, 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 spine,
that was funny to me that in the third one they're kind of introducing those guys and they're like he's like i got the best i got two of the best and they instantly die yeah <laughs> yeah they, exactly. they're on the island for five minutes and exactly yep yeah. i can't stand the, the the wife the mom can't stand her she's so fucking annoying in the she third one me a lot of our temple of doom yes exactly lady. exactly just loud and obnoxious and mm-hmm. oh, shut the fuck yeah. up she doesn't, screaming she doesn't do much of anything no again she the best scene involves her but she's not in it when uh in the aviary when she walks across the bridge and the kid's like mom yeah and it's yeah, a pterodactyl or yeah, pteradon um, yeah pteranodon I yeah yeah <laughs> walking up that's yeah. such a good stuff with the fog and everything that is a good scene although yeah. that's another continuity thing like are we led to believe that they're encased in that you know enclosure oh, so i guess it can't be the pteranodons that pick them up i don't know i don't think so because there's like human bones that's true, yeah. So they got to get out of there somehow. I thought maybe it was maybe those guys on the boat, but you're right. Yeah, they had to be out. And, well, and then it probably the, is the guys on the boat. But at the end of maybe. the second one, they end on the – Right. So, tyrann- like just out. Because they built the Pteranodon for that, um, thinking that it was going to be then in the movie. And, oh, no, we're going right. to uh, – this. Save those it'll for be the great. third. No, we, we, this, the San Diego scene. It's going to be great. <laughs> Trust me, guys. It's going to be great. That's going to be great. We talk about it's it all movie. That's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Yeah, so that another inconsistency that kind of bugged me. I'm like, so, Carlos, what's another good scene in Jurassic Park three? Dude, immediately, <laughs> um, I was watching some behind the scenes on it, and they mix CGI with practical. And there's a scene where the T Rex is practical, and the Spinosaurus snaps its neck. And somebody hmm. pointed out that's kind of like the new getting rid of the old. I don't like it. Mm, but I will also say they did actually make a puppet for the Spinosaurus, it's a like practical huge, puppet. It's really big, right? It yeah. seems like a crazy thing to do, that production team that yeah. made it. And it's actually controlled with a telemetry device. So there's like a guy in like a mech suit off the side of the camera, oh, like controlling wow. the arms That's and hilarious. stuff and controlling the tilt of the head. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool technology. Mm-hmm. And it seems like a lot of work to like just oh. move that giant unit. They had to like take down the whole studio. I read door that. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. And bring it onto a giant yeah. asset in Universal. It's yeah. pretty impressive what they did. And uh, I think it works pretty well, too, when um, it's trying to eat them out of the airplane, like a tube of toothpaste oh, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, come on, come on. Yeah. The last Pringle on the bottom of the plane. <laughs> 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 yeah, funny. there's a deleted scene with that puppet uh, where he's they show him actually shitting those piles. That, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was, oh, my <laughs> God. That, Imagine you spent all this money to make a puppet. If, and if the only. If yeah. only. <laughs> it's a 10-minute shot, one long shot. Yes, <laughs> dino shit. Oh, I like that in the first one. It's like, that is one big pile of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Probably talking about the new movie that just came out. That's what I thought in the third one was a... <laughs> that's fine. The third one is another homage. The, the shit? Yeah. There's no shit in the second one. There's a lot of rehashing. Yeah, they added that to bring back the shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit yeah. sells. Shit sells. And there is, like, the whole scene again with... Um, they're, like, meeting up at the big giant fence, and then all of a sudden they look behind them, and the Spinosaurus is sitting right there. I like that. That was pretty... He's just there. Yeah, 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 he's just there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Snuck <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they, then the, there's just uh, conveniently a hole cut through as they're running. Right, like, running right. Yeah. And that just breaks through. Yeah. 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 Well, actually, I did like that, too. They're that, like, ooh, we're safe. Yeah, that you know? leads to my probably, like, the best acting in the movie when he's like, Alan, can I please have the bag back? And he realizes it's the raptor eggs. I've mm-hmm. always liked that. And he's like, you know, you could, I mean, it's a stupid decision, but I made it, but the best intentions is like some of the worst things imaginable have been done with the best intentions. Like, mm-hmm. that's probably the best s- scene, like, acting-wise, or just writing-wise in the movie. Right. And I always like how he redeems himself in the in the aviary. Yeah. yeah. Takes off on the hang glider yeah. or, or paraglider. I don't even know what that thing is. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't, yeah, some I like the parachute almost. I don't know, something. He would have had better luck with the pterodactyls if he had a, just a, the two rungs of the gymnast bar. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kelly from the second one coming. Where in. was Kelly when you needed her? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I really like William H Macy as Mr. Kirby in the third film too. I guess. I, I, I don't know. William H Macy feels like he always is kind of playing William H Macy. You know, like in a way, he's yeah. very similar in like Fargo, Boogie Nights, this movie. Yeah. He's like a lovable loser kind of. Kinda, kinda yeah. yeah. And this one, you know, he's just kind of like, oh man. But he does redeem himself a little bit by the end, and he survives. He makes it. Right. Not many, not many deaths in the third one. But then again, there's not many deaths in the first one. There's a lot of deaths in the second one. True. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. The second one is all the the big squad of the dudes yeah. that gets murdered. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. The third one, a lot less deaths. Yeah. Number three, Billy lives, even though he has yeah. to do, like, a sacrifice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh well. Well, I guess their whole squad does get wiped out. Like they're. Um, it's like three dudes, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 Oh well. <laughs> when it when it comes to kills, I do like because you know they're PG thirteen movies, so they have to be creative. Yeah. You know, I like the different creative ways they show dudes getting ripped up without right. actually showing it. That's why I think I like the alien movies so much. It's a lot more visceral and violent and mm-hmm. gore, gory. That's why I think I always like the alien movies a lot. No holding back. Yeah. yeah. I know I, I had the thought watching these like, man, imagine these were R rated. Yeah. That could be really cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Or it could be really awful. Right. Yeah. Very f- yeah, very true. A little schlocky maybe. Yeah, a bunch of shower scenes and <laughs> <laughs> it's just Friday the thirteenth, but yeah, with dinosaurs. The yeah. yeah. <laughs> that uh that first scene does feel like a slasher. Uh, in that first movie, sorry, the Velociraptor scene does feel in the kitchen. Esque, yeah, yeah, it's a as great scene. Dodging around, great yeah. scene. One of the better scenes in, in the whole series. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the reflection and everything. Yeah. The oven. Yeah, that reminded me of Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. But it's like a LL Cool J part where he's like in a kitchen when or something. Kitchen, yeah, yeah he, I, I think he got... burns one of the sharks. In yes, the oven. I need to watch that again. Yeah, I keep talking about that movie. Is the third one, the one where Alan. Well, because the only other one Alan Grant is in is the third one. Yes, yeah, he skips over. And two. then he's in. I think he's in the newest one. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is real or not, but is there a scene where a Velociraptor starts talking yeah. to him on a, when Again, he's on a plane? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dumbest, oh, yeah, dumbest that. fucking scene in any of these. I've movies. seen that clip, and I'm like, is that real? Oh, that's like, real. Fuck. Oh, that's real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that was scared funny. me. When he, I was yeah, he's this dreaming. Is so stupid. He's dreaming, and the guy's trying to wake him up. People try to be like, oh, but he's trying to get the bird to talk. That's a callback. It's fucking dumb. Who cares? Oh, the parrot? Yeah. Is my name Alan? Is my name Alan? And then the raptor calls him his name. It's because, remember, dinosaurs came from birds. Yeah. (laughs) Audience. I guess that's what it is. stupid. That's ridiculous. In my opinion. I completely forgot about that It's the silliest scene in any of the movies, in my opinion. (laughs) Yeah. Well, then. I don't know. It was silly with the velociraptors at the end of the third, just taking the eggs. Yeah. I, you know, I guess they're supposed to be, you know, oh, they, they learn that they're nurturing. I guess they're different species. So they steal the baby, the juvenile T-Rex in the second movie. They give it back to the T-Rexes. What do they do? They push them off a fucking cliff. Right. They exactly. give the raptors back their eggs. What do they do? Eh, they just run off. They run off. Yeah. I thought maybe. No, no retaliation. Because well, he has the 3D print, which was also cool. This, they, they did that was 3D interesting. Printers early yeah, on. That, that was fucking interesting, man. That yeah. was fucking interesting. <laughs> Um, yeah, they do a 3D print of like the Velociraptor's nasal cavity or whatever. So then Alan blows it when the raptors are around him, and I feel like it gives him pause. I didn't know what it was supposed to mean, though. Like, are they supposed to be like, oh, you're one of us? Or I guess, maybe they thought yeah. another raptor was calling for help. Maybe they heard maybe. A, the Spinosaurus was coming or something. Perhaps. But I don't know. It just didn't seem very realistic to me. I'm like, they yeah. would have died forever well, ago. And the ending, again, like, the Marines show up or something. It like, reminded me of Commando's ending. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the yeah. beach landing. Yes. <laughs> it reminded me of Clue's ending. Oh, God, <laughs> yeah. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just Jurassic swarms Park up. 3 ripping off Commando and Clue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, the boys are here. Everything's all right. Yeah. Time to ride off into the sunset. Yeah. And and they drive off with the uh, ter- pterodactyls, pteranodons, you know, the flying ones. Right. Kind of like a callback to the first one where the, the birds, birds yeah. are flying. The birds. Yeah. yeah. They're like, they're pelicans or something? I don't even know. The something. Yeah. yeah. Some, kind of, some aquatic. Another, you know, bird. like birds, dinosaurs, birds, dinosaurs. Exactly. Yeah. I like that about the first one, though, the comparison to the dinosaurs and the birds. These right. are the ancestors. Yeah. yeah. Well, like especially it. for its time. Yeah. yeah. You know, Definitely. people, it probably was um, debunking a lot of preconceived notions people had about dinosaurs. Right. And just like books. big lizards or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although, but like we said, some of it was wrong. They are kind of just big lizards, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, like, you know, in 1993, they didn't know everything yet. Exactly. They didn't even know there were Spinosaurus. Yeah. (laughs) I will say one more thing about the first and the second films, maybe not the third one. Um, Very strong female characters. Yeah. Laura Dern. Yes. She knows how to take care of herself. Yeah. And even comes through. By turning the power back on. Yeah, that line when um, he's like, it should be me going because I'm a... And you're, uh, she's like, look, we can talk about survivalism and sexes and sexes when I get back. Or she says something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah very it's like, cool. We're not gonna send a seventy-five-year-old man. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> yeah. Come on, silly. Seventy-five years old. Even the girl, you know, she's got her little hacker thing. It's like a, it's like a '90s trope. It looks All like the kids are when hackers. she does that. Yeah. It looks. You guys ever play Pilot Wings? 
No. <laughs> it looks like fucking pilot wings. It was pretty she dumb. does. It did look like a video uh, game. It looks weird. And the way she's yeah. holding the mouse, I'm like, this is her first time using a yeah, mouse. Yeah, it's very slow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's a hacker. Yeah. You know? It's like E3 showing off a game. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 1993 E3. <laughs> but it, at least it was Lex an attempt to Park. make her give her something. Even uh, in the second one, Julianne Moore's character, she's like on the island by herself, chilling out. Yep. Very um, chill. And she's like, you guys, we got to take care of this baby dinosaur. We got to yeah. save the day. And yep. Yeah. I, I always, it's so kind of fucked up that the, uh, like, they break the dinosaur's, le- the, the juvenile dinosaur's leg to lure the, the buck. I just like that. There's, like, a whole, like, um, they're at the camp, and the dudes are, like, broadcasting back to, back to the mainland about all these dinosaurs they have. And they're just up in a tree. I just always like it's like yeah. fuck that. Let's go kill some dinosaurs. Fuck yeah. the board meeting. I always <laughs> like that. The two the two gay lovers. <laughs> Allegedly, <clears throat> that's when things too. It's like you know, like he's all bummed. He's like, "What's the matter? Yeah. You know, he didn't make it, RJ. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's yeah. why I felt like it. It changed him almost like uh, how Hammond changed in the first yes. movie. Yeah, you know, by the end he's like, yeah. I, I've been around too much death. He's yeah. just not interested anymore in hunting. Yeah, and I didn't even really understand like. I guess that's why he partly why he is so upset. But like you know, Vince Vaughn steals the shotgun shells right. or something. He's, yeah, yeah, I like when they're walking in the rain. He's like, um, he's like, he's like, you mind if I see that? He's like, nope. He takes yeah. the gun away from him. Yeah, right. Yeah, but he he still manages somehow to take him out. And it seemed like you know the guy was disappointed he didn't get to kill him. Yeah, but I mean you tranked it. Yeah, Shit, you damn near did it. Yeah, you know I, I don't. It's like why is Vince Vaughn so adamant about not killing it? He's a um, like. Why does it matter? He's like a wildlife activist. It seems like you know. But again, these tour. things are mm. g- genetic freaks. They're not. They were man-made. They're not natural. Right. Like yeah. It's it's kind of yeah. It's a silly these mindset that the, this yeah the second movie has that these are animals. It's like even Alan Grant says in the third movie, they're genetic and en- en- genetically engineered theme park monsters. They're not real animals. Yeah. It does kind of show you know like them getting hurt and stuff when they're drinking them and then cat. Again, dude, the vehicles, the, the, so badass. The Hummers, the motorcycle, the motorcycle goes in between the Mammacosaurus's uh, legs mm-hmm. and stuff. Like and number two. Yeah, like yeah. again, like that was my favorite, Very Mad Max, favorite like part of the movie as a kid, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, just swooping through. Yeah, <laughs> very fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Made me want to go do that, ride around in jeeps and shit. You know, <laughs> I like again. My jeep had the thing where it comes out. You know, and it comes back in the retractable. Oh yeah, that was kind of yeah. that was kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. the little sidecar looking yes, thing that comes yes, out so we yeah. can shoot. Yeah, they do that in the newest Ghostbusters. They put that on the. Oh, Echo they do. One. Oh yeah. wow, that's that's cool. Pop out nice. so that you can shoot. Uh, very cool. Hmm. Got a Lost World callback. It's a handy attachment. Yeah. Yeah. Every no movie is complete these days without a Lost World callback. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we need Vince. They should bring back Vince Vaughn in the Jurassic Park movies. How well, come they never brought him back? True. true Vince true. Vaughn's like a big star. Yeah. Too busy making wedding crashes too. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, he actually. Uh, yeah, I don't want to derail too much, but I liked Vince Vaughn in True Detective, and he got shit on a lot for the role. But I thought oh. it was good. I've never seen more it. dramatic. Seen it. Hear good stuff about than his detective. usual swingers. You know. Yeah. Wedding crashers, dodgeball type role. Yeah. He's he's good in this one too. Yeah, I, I never. I mean, his character makes awful decisions, but yep, yep, yep. yeah, writing. Yeah, exactly. How about John Williams' score for the oh, first Oh, of course. I, we can, yeah, of course. Insane. You know, that's, okay, one thing I will say that's underrated about the second movie, I, I've always liked the music. Mm-hmm. It's, like, the only one that has different music. Mm-hmm. Really? Like, every other one just does the, da, 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 which, again, it's iconic. It's great. But I liked how the second movie's like, let's make our own theme. Like, I always like that. Yeah, it's like you a know? it's like a brother of the original yeah. score. It's, it's kind of like got related, like a but like a jungle kind of theme going on. Which mm-hmm. oh, by the way, the second one's filmed up in Eureka, in Humboldt. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I always like that too. Yeah, there are a lot more bongos in the second yes. one. Yes, yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I think they wanted that jungle kind of feel. Yeah, let's cool. go to the jungle. Yeah. You know what you want? <laughs> the You're in the lost world, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. And they do. Don't go into the long grass. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the third oh, one, Jimmy uh, Gish. John Williams wasn't available to score it because him and Spielberg were doing AI. Oh, uh, so he doesn't uh, score the third movie? No. It's oh, I didn't a, know. Again, that's like the third one is just so detached. Like yeah. it's still. Like, it, it's very I'll, different. I'll let you finish what you were gonna say. I'm sorry. It's a composer Don Davis, and Never he like that. specifically said we're not using that original. Dun 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 dun. 
unless it's super special moments, he uses it three times when you're watching the herd as they're going by in the boat mm-hmm. um, for the very ending. And then there's another part, but I forgot. Maybe, maybe I think when Alan Grant gets introduced, re- like reintroduced. Maybe, maybe yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. But that's kind of interesting. He decided to do that. And then the rest of it, he scores himself. In the second days. movie, they play it when Ian Malcolm goes, you know, this is a res- res- rescue expedition that's leaving immediately. They, they do it, which is cool. That's funny. And then they play it at the end with the ter- 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 dactyl pteranodon comes in on the branch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They just, yeah, I don't know. It, the, the, it's an iconic talk, theme I'll, too. Oh yeah, for sure. definitely. It's like it's up there with Star Wars and Back to the Future, and you know, just uh, yeah, you he, freaking John. You Williams. hear that, you know. Oh yeah, Jurassic Park. Like it's mm-hmm. it's iconic. Mm-hmm. They still use them in the new ones, don't they? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. At least for advertising. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, the scores are good. I, the third one I did feel like was a little weaker, so it makes sense that it wasn't all John Williams. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. It seemed it like a remix. It definitely feels like a different film, too, compared to the Spielberg films. It's more action-packed. Um, it isn't trying to focus on uh, Life Finds a Way or, right. like, the morality of poachers versus, yeah, like, um, yeah. the uh, God versus nature conversation. conversation. Or uh, environmentalists or mm-hmm. whatever it was going for, yeah. 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 It's, it's almost like, um, I mean, kind of heresy to compare the two, but alien versus aliens, you know, how they're kind of so different. Like one oh, bro. <laughs> not comparable. Not comparable. Not comparable. I know, but no, I compare them all fucking day. I don't care. Yeah, well, you know, the third one is just more bang, bang, shoot them up type yeah. action. And a lot of people like it for that. I, I kind of do. Yeah. yeah. Just get, gets to the point. You know? Yeah, you just got to know you're not going to get the first Jurassic Park. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Mm, it, you I respected you it more for doing his own thing. I felt like that's that's the big reason I didn't like the second one so much well, is because it just feels like the first one over again. I just don't like how they built up the Tyrannosaurus sexes so much in the first two movies, and then, oh, no, it's not that cool. It gets killed right away in the third movie. Like, I yeah. just don't like that. Yeah, the instant one-upping. Yeah. Like, you said, the broken neck. Yeah. There was I no like that. What does Ian Malcolm That's say in the first movie? It's like, you didn't have any um, discipline to obtain it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like that. Like, you know? Yeah. It's just like the second one um, rehashing. I mean, uh, what's it called? Retconning stuff from the first one. It's like almost like the third one brings in this new thing. It's like, did you know there's a bigger dinosaur? Yeah, it's just like, like we showed you one T Rex, we showed you two T Rexes. Now, and now the thing that kills the T Rexes. Yeah, yeah. So it swims. It's got a fin on its back. Yeah. I love the Spinosaurus. I actually heard recently that it's way more aquatic and probably has fins wow, uh, yeah. rather than like all those <laughs> limbs and stuff. Yeah, it looks like an alligator. It's got the or crocodile, one of the one too. But you know, that was the what they were going like the ticking in the al- alligator, crocodile, and Peter Pan. That's what they were going for with the satellite phone in it. Whoa, uh, yeah. that's kind of cool. I can see that. I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> they know. said they. Uh, the special effects people they adopted oh, the eyes from alligators okay well, that makes mm. sense cool yeah mm. it is very alligator like oh, fucking that animal. scene when like they're in the airplane and like pops its head up and then she's all screaming and then it goes back down <laughs> and it's like what what are you screaming at and then it pops its head up back it's like come on pranked you yeah <laughs> the spine of stores has a sense of humor yeah he's playing hide and seek yeah playing peekaboo it's another thing sometimes the dinosaurs they play with their food sometimes they waste I no guess, time yeah it's just yeah. whatever's convenient to the story i'm like man it always bums me out when robert muldoon gets killed in the first movie who who is robert muldoon i he's forget the, um he's the one who's like obsessed with the raptors they should all be destroyed oh, yeah okay the clever, girl. clever girl. i like he's like even nedry and you know knew not to uh you know screw with the raptors mm-hmm. mess with the raptors that's the other thing it's just you didn't have a contingency plan for this like yeah yeah, he shut down all this stuff, but he left the raptor cage open. And then, then the power goes out, and now you're screwed. Well, like, the 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 rapt the velociraptor containment gets um, turned off when they turn it off. That's right. When that's when Samuel what Jackson said. turns it off. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Then they bite their way out. Yeah, they are Very, clever. Yeah, yeah. They like never that. attack the same place twice. Mm-hmm. They remember. Yeah, like he's like you know uh, that one when you're looking at it, you can the tell big she's working things out. Yeah, which I never understood. Like she call he calls her the big one, but they all look the same size. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> oh well, pretty much. No, you guys like uh, probably yeah. adapted from the novel. Pro- anyway, we're honestly, honestly probably yeah. You guys like the reaction from Hammond when uh, he realizes that they're like killing him, killing the dinosaurs and stuff. Yeah, he's like, ah, Grant! Grant! Yeah, Grant! yeah. Grant! yeah. 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 Yeah, freaks out. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's weird. Like, it, you know, for the first half or whatever of the movie, he's that kind of typical scummy, like corporate. You know, like I'm doing this for money. I've and, always liked him though. Yeah, yeah no, but by he's, the he's end, a he's a totally guy. himself. Yeah, he's a likable guy. Again, mm-hmm. very different from the book. In the book, he's just very much all, almost like the kind of the lawyer. 
yeah, the, the, lawyer the, the lawyer or the the nephew in the second one. I right. felt like he was way more generic. Just, yeah, yes. You know, yeah. I'm doing this for money. Yeah. Not not. I don't care how many people have to die. Yeah. Not not that great. Some of you may die, but that's Ooh. a sacrifice <laughs> yeah. I'm willing to make. Exactly. <laughs> Ian, what do you rate Jurassic Park? I have to give it a five out of five. It's a it's a Star Wars, you know. It's a it's a it's another the thing. It's it's almost a perfect movie. It has its flaws, but it just it's you know, it's it's Jurassic Park. I think I say that about Star Wars. It's fucking Star Wars, you know. It's it's fucking Jurassic Park. It's it's a marvel of of cinema. Um, everything just worked. Uh, it, not only is it a spectacle, it also has some. Uh, some um, depth to it with the characters and the you know Alan Grant's arc with the kids and everything it's just an incredibly well done movie that you know we've learned with the sequels could never be done again <laughs> and yeah it's just a it's you know I've I've watched it countless times and every time I watch it I almost kind of think like am I gonna enjoy it as much this time and yeah I always do <laughs> you know it's never lost that feel so five out of five. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I would say for Jurassic Park, I'd do the same thing. Five out of five. Yeah. Um. You know, I'm, I was here like cutting it up a little bit, saying this is bullshit, blah blah blah. But it's a movie about fucking dinosaurs. You exactly. Know? <laughs> you gotta it's suspend some disbelief. I, I, for, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. Yeah, but no. In terms of like, w- the first thing I think of when I think of Jurassic Park is like visual effects, special effects, things like that. They're just incredible. Better than stuff that still comes out today. Um. You know, the music's legendary. The acting is all good. The story's good. The characters are interesting. I there are very little flaws in the movie. It paces so it, it's paced well. The cinematography is pretty. You know the yes. good shots. Steven Spielberg does those. Like I, I don't know what to call them. Uh, like he, he, it's the camera's like backing up and something's running towards the camera. Right. There's a ton of shots yes. like that in the second one as well. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no. All, all together, it's fucking Jurassic Park. Yep. Five out of five for me. Carlos? I gotta agree. It is a five out of five film. I think everything Roman and Ian just said, I totally agree with that. Um, it feels like a very hopeful film, um, very adventurous. Oh man, we're gonna go meet some dinosaurs. And that first intro, welcome to Jurassic yes. Park. It's iconic. Like, <laughs> iconic. And the that Brachiosaurus. Theme plays, yeah. yeah. Forget you about know? it. Yeah. A good feeling comes every time that scene plays. It even gets dark there. It turns into a horror film. Yeah. Um, and then a quick lull when Alan's hanging out with the kids on the branch. You get kind of that peaceful moment of the bronchiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Yeah. Really cool. And then, of course, the hopeful ending. Yeah, it's a great film, great feelings. Um, you get a little scared in there. You get a little action. Perfect film. What about you, Christian? Yeah, five out of five for me. Um. Yeah, the story is awesome. The characters are interesting. Um, the special effects they hold up today. Like Mark said, there are things being made today that look worse. Mark or one of. Or not fuck. Mark <laughs> Roman. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in Mark's normal spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good point. Yeah. Good okay. Point. I'm Mark today. Yeah, Mark couldn't be here with us today, unfortunately. Yeah. Like Roman said, the special effects hold up great. Yeah. And it's just amazing how much this movie can do, like, still have that kind of impact even now. Yeah, one of the best like, movies of the 90s. Yeah. I would have to agree. Of could, all time, Could be too. one of the best movies ever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yep. Yep. Nice. Five out of five all around. But is awesome. this our first perfect movie like um, as a group did we ever do did was star wars star perfect? wars was like yeah. th- no no mark did not give it a five out of five i think he gave it a four and a half out of five mm. so this might be a first um perfect jeez it might be i could be wrong though ian what do you give jurassic park the lost world five out of five <laughs> no i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding uh <laughs> three and a half out of five it's a big drop off but i have to give it a passing grade i have to give it a three um, if I okay, so this is how it gets bumped up to a three and a half. It gets a three because I think again it's a fun, you know, uh, ten, ten sequences. I like that Jeff Goldblum's back. Um, you know, it's they bring in new dinosaurs. They bring in two T Rexes this time, along with the juvenile, which I always really liked. You know, it's I think it's just you know a lot what a lot of what I want out of a sequel. So Ian. What do you give the sequels? Um, the second one, I'll give a three and a half out of five. I do like it. 
I like again. It's the only movie in the Jurassic Park series that I think feels like the first one still. It still has some kind of again the Stegosauruses. It's like you know, it's like okay, here we're back. You know, like we're. I, I've always liked that scene. I've always liked the Dino Roundup. I've always liked the trailers. I've always liked the long grass. I just don't like the ending. Um, yeah, it, again, five from three point five. It's a pretty big fall off. Uh, but even though maybe they didn't try, I was gonna say they tried, but maybe it kind of almost sounds like they didn't try. I felt like they put way too much, like maybe in the the ending, and I've never liked it. It's tacked on. It just doesn't make any fucking sense how that boat, just all the crew died. Um, <laughs> Ghost ship. It's just so hokey and silly. Some people like it. Some people say that's a favorite, their favorite part. Um, for me, everything up until when they get off the island just falls apart. Um, but yeah, it you know I still enjoy it. I like it to me. It makes actually a fairly decent double feature. But um, the third one I will give a three. It, it's still fun. I don't, you know, I, I, to me, it's the weakest, like, plot. But, again, you don't really go to these movies for plot, I guess. You just want to see dinosaurs fucking shit up. And it does that. I don't care for the Spinosaurus, but it has some moments where it's like, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, it feels more like a Jurassic Park movie than the world movies to me. And, yeah, I'll give it a three. It, it serves its purpose. So, three gets a three. Nice. So, yeah. Those Jurassic World movies do feel like spinoffs. Yeah, which yeah. Is, which is just odd. Yeah. Um, for me, the sequels, uh, number two, I think I'll rate two at a 2.5. I just really didn't enjoy it that much. Um, a lot of people don't. Yeah, I felt like I was basically just rewatching the first one in a lot of parts, and I'm not sure if it was intentional or not. I think so. Yeah, which yeah. makes it feel like a money grab to me. You yeah, know? yeah, that's and what so it was. It takes a little bit. And it of worked. It made a shitload of money. It did. Well, because it was so hyped, I'm sure, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. After, you know, what we just rated as a perfect movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, of course, but, yeah, it's, uh, to me it was a little bit of a letdown. And, um, yeah, just kind of forgettable, honestly. Uh, probably both of the sequels I would sort of describe as forgettable. But um, the second one, it just seemed like it was trying to do – more than be forgettable and uh it didn't uh, i will say there was some really pretty shots like uh cinematography wise and stuff like i think of um the raptors of course through the tall grass but uh even like at the beginning when the little girl um the daughter she's like walking through all the stuff that's getting worked on and it's like that factory floor and everything oh yeah yeah, yeah. Just i like that randomly too. just like some really pretty shots in there and stuff i like um when they're they're first going to site b there's like a it's looking down on water with the boat going it's like a I don't know what kind of shot you call that. It's like um, just top looking down. top down. Sure, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I like that. It's kind of you know yeah. interesting. I guess no. I there's still like Spielberg has some good touches in this yeah. movie. I feel like you mm -hmm. know just like the first one. Right. Um, but yeah, as far as the story and the writing and stuff like that, it just wasn't really that interesting to me. I could care less about Jeff Goldblum's daughter. Um, even you know Maori Julianne Moore. I always forget her name. Huff or Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore. Yeah. She just didn't really seem that interesting to me, you know. Um, probably the best part of the second one was Roland, the, the yes. hunter. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah. So for me, two and a half on the first one, or on the second movie, the first of the sequels. Um, the third one, I would probably put at a three, just marginally better. Um, to me, it's kind of different. It's more of just a fluff action movie, you know, just that's the one you want to turn on. Well, actually, no. You always want to turn on the first one. But yeah, <laughs> if you just want to see dinosaurs messing stuff up, big, cool, fun stuff, I would say the third one is more is, is a little better for that. I do kind of appreciate that on both of them, both of the sequels, they don't spend too much time setting everything up. They, yeah. they jump into the dinosaurs and stuff pretty fast. Because yeah. that's obviously the best part. Good point. Yeah, of Jurassic Park. But, uh, yeah, the third one, I like it. It's, it's a shorter movie. Um, it's doesn't care as much about the story and characters and i, I kind of like that you know because they don't try to uh delve into all that basically they're just like yeah these guys are here and they're all gonna get eaten yeah, yeah or you know, most of them yeah uh, i also like william h macy a lot so that's a personal little fan yeah favorite you know for me it's jeff goldblum that, yeah that right bump, that bumps the second movie up that makes sense lot, you, so, know? It you know depends. yeah malcolm's my favorite character in, in the whole series so mm -hmm. yeah Life, uh, 
finds a way. Yeah, Probably one of the best movies. Uh, 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 I will say though, in the third one, the um, pterodactyl, pterodon. I just keep calling them pterodactyls. Yeah, just say the aviary scene. That might be my favorite scene in the whole trilogy. Oh, it's, wow. it's definitely up there at least. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah, so like that alone bumps it from a you know two and a half to a three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fog and everything. Right. Just the fear of the unknown. Yeah. And and really pretty too in a movie yeah. that doesn't have nearly as many pretty shots as the first two. Right. I was looking this up, Carlos. I never played these. They look really fun, though. Dino Crisis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of it. It's a lot like Resident Evil. Right. The original it's Capcom, ones. yeah. 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 Oh. I want to play them now. Instead of zombies, you fight uh, uh, dinosaurs. dinosaurs. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Did uh, these, did, just random, but did you guys, do you guys know if this kicked off like a dinosaur thing? Of course. Yeah. The yeah. NBA yeah. fucking named one of their teams the Raptors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, Raptors. There yep. was that movie Dinosaur. <laughs> I remember that. I saw that in the no. theater, and yeah. I haven't seen it since. Yeah, that was a good film. I right. remember it being cool. It was, don't they talk? The dinosaurs talk. Yeah. yeah. And McDonald's had the puppets. Right. Oh, oh my that's god. Right. Yeah, the movie, dude. Yeah. That brings back a whole shit ton of memories. Yeah, Land Before Time and all that too. Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was even before. Yeah. Oh, was it before Jurassic Park? They, but they kept making sequels, mm. so they eventually, I'm sure, corresponded with. The mm-hmm. Jurassic Park movies. More interest in dinosaurs. Yeah. I mean, dinosaurs are fucking cool. They are. You know that they when you're are. like a three-year-old yep. boy. Yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, two and a half for the second and three stars for the third. For nice. Me. Yeah. Carlos, what Yeah, what about you? I think uh, I'll give number two a three. Um, I do appreciate, like, the continuation. Like, we got to figure out why these dinosaurs are even still alive. Right. Uh, we get to see Hammond again. Love seeing Hammond. Yeah. I do like Jeff Goldblum. I don't think that he's a good leading man, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of people um, feel that way. But I did see him more as like a heroic figure in this film. Yeah. Um, I did like that. Um, I do think that it is a very dark film. I don't like the darkness of it too much. Um, y- um Like feel the feel of the darkness or like the actual like lighting in the movie spielberg literally said i don't want to do lighting <laughs> like oh, okay. that's like too much work i see <laughs> yeah okay. he shot he shot it dark gotcha um so yeah eh, the characters aren't my favorite um yeah i don't really care about the daughter like roman was saying um, she doesn't do gymnast. anything until yeah. the gymnast scene yeah um, when she saves the day yeah I'm like, she lights a fire she does? She lights a fire. Oh, right. Where yeah. they come back and the fire's um, lit. She's That's trying to make dinner or something. Yeah. She's stowed away on She the... can't even make dinner right. No. Yeah. <laughs> she spends half the movie up in the... The, the high hide. The, yeah. You go up and you high. They, hide. Yeah. It they puts just... you at very good biting um, height. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 She just stays up there for like 20 minutes while the story moves on without her. Anyway, right. sorry. Yeah. Although it is the weakest part, the finale where he's in town, that's kind of what I want. Like, we've been on an island and in a tropic uh, environment let's go to urban areas it doesn't really work but i think it's an interesting idea to do mm-hmm. well that's what they're doing in the world movies now i think yeah, yeah. oh i did hear that yeah. yeah um but apparently it's not good so <laughs> <laughs> maybe just stick to the islands i don't know yeah i'm sure there's a lot of limitations on that's what they did with jurassic park 3 i think they realized that they're like let's go back to just running around on the island yeah i think that's where just you know that's where jurassic park thrives yeah mm-hmm. personally yeah, number two is definitely the weakest of the trilogy for me. Um, whereas number three, I really like how short it is. The length is great. It's action. We hit the ground running as soon as we land the plane. Please, whatever you do, don't let them land this plane. And then they knock them out. Tell me we didn't land. Because as soon as that happens, yeah. everybody's getting eaten. Planes are crashing. Yep. Guns are going off. Poop. Um, poop. Poop. poop is getting poop. <laughs> <laughs> poop is getting dug through. The sound effects <laughs> are for some reason stuck in my head too. The cell phone sound. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and the screams. For some reason, a lot of the stuff from number three stuck with me. I must have watched it a lot as a kid or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of your guys' complaints. Is all we're doing is going up another level. Two T Rexes for number two. A big old. I like that. I like the two T Rexes in the second one. Yeah. Personally, but I like the Spinosaurus. Let's go up another level. Let's create you know, it's funny. They've never brought it back. To my knowledge, that's, that's they, I don't true. remember it being in the world movies. No. Too I don't powerful. know if it's in the new one. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, this can never be brought back. <laughs> <laughs> it was too powerful. He can swim, too? <laughs> no, like, like we, the, the studio won't let us make another one. It was too big. <laughs> the, the animatronic was far too big. <laughs> Maybe. But, yeah, it, it, it lives in its own building. 
I, I do agree with Roman. The pterodactyl scene does stick out for me. That's the best scene in the movie. And it reminds me a lot of the Dino Crisis video games. At least um, Jurassic Park 3 as a whole reminds me of the Dino Crisis games, which they need to bring back and remaster. I want to play them. Yeah. Be fun. We couldn't Actually. beat them when me and my dad played them as kids. Uh, but is it hard? Yeah. yeah. We got stuck at a certain point. Resident Evil's were pretty tough, too. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, um, number three, did I already see my rating? No, I don't think so. I think I got to give it a four, guys. Wow. It is very detached from the other two. It doesn't have maybe the heart and the writing that the first two have, but it has the action packs. I just want to see some dinosaurs just, fight each other. I don't even think it has the look of the first two. You know, True. like It, it, it feels more modern. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the guy, what is he? He reminds me of Paul Walker, um, the one that stole the dinosaur eggs. Billy? Yeah. yeah he just okay. looks like. 2001. Yes, he does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, yes, he does. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Very out of place. Yeah. Felt like. He's got like spiky hair. No, he he's got 2001 looking. I don't know. It's yeah. hard to describe. It's like yeah. a t-shirt. It's like yeah. A t-shirt. yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like number three a lot. Um, it goes one, three, and then number two for me, and then the new trilogy is just below all that yeah it's, just, <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's an afterthought Sorry, it's yeah. an afterthought for me yeah yeah i haven't seen the second or the newest one that just came out so second one was one i was like all right i'm done yeah that's what i heard yeah the first one was you know, whatever it's just, again it's, it's there mm-hmm. i haven't seen it since the theater i think they introduced a clone little girl in the second of that the trilogy. was what made me all right i'm done they yeah. jumped the shark there yeah exactly it's like now you're cloning humans it's not that it's it's just like stick with fucking dinosaurs, please. I, I came for a dinosaur. Movie. Yeah, <laughs> you're cloning humans now. Like no, just no. Yeah, no. I re- I recommend at least number three to you, Christian. I think Ian would recommend number two. Did, he has. Yeah, I've <laughs> probably been telling that for fifteen years now. Um, <laughs> th- is he, you listening to us talk? Does it make you want to watch them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I felt like I shit on the second one a lot, but you know, overall, it's really well. It's not that again. Bad. Like I like it, but it's not. It's a flawed movie. Mm-hmm. It's a flawed movie again because it's just like it was probably just a rushed out product. Money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it worked. It made a shitload of money. You I s- bought all the toys. My parents bought all the toys. My grandparents bought all the toys for me. So. Mm-hmm. You said Ian Malcolm's your favorite character yes. because you have the same name. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I might have. He's like the only like famous Ian in a movie. Yeah. True, true. I mean, can you name another Ian in a, in a movie? Ian McClellan. Well, that's an actor, though. Like, yeah. character name. Ian, uh, I think the Cillian Murphy in 28 Days Later is Ian. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For some cool. reason, that sounds right. It's a good movie. Yeah. I like that movie. Yeah, not a lot of Ians out there. Yeah. That's true. Give Ian some more few representation. And, few and far between. Eh, maybe not. Maybe mm-hmm. keep it Keep it low. I don't <laughs> know. Maybe I like the obscurity. I like the obscurity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was fun. I'm glad we got to do this. Yeah, great trilogy. I, I don't get I, I don't get to talk about the second one a lot. So <laughs> right, no. Yeah, and we're all pretty big fans of dinosaurs. They're always fun. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my, you know, it was Jurassic Park. It's like it was a huge part of my childhood. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Star Wars, Jurassic Park, Alien, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening to this one, guys. It was great to revisit these films. Thanks for talking about them with me, guys. Yeah, thank mm-hmm. you, guys. This is great. Next week, like. we'll be talking about Elephant Man. So tune in for that one next week. David yeah. Lynch. Yes. Salad. I'm excited. Little salad. I don't think I've really ever watched a David Lynch film, so I'm excited to no, check it Strap in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's one of his tamer movies. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be fun. So tune in next week, guys. And thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, please. Later. I want to mention this before I forget. Can you tell us your experience on the Jurassic Park ride? Oh, God. I was really young, and you know, you have to go up into the line, and you must be this height to ride it. I was, like, right there on the cusp of it, so my grandma's like, let's go, let's go. My sister was too short, so she was crying in the back of the line. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I went on it, and that ride, it's a drop, much like um, Splash Mountain. Yes. And the drop comes... And I was too fucking small for this ride, guys. But I end up almost falling out of this thing, but only I fall straight to the floor. 
And if you look at the picture that's taken, everybody's screaming, and then there's just an empty seat where I am. Oh, that's funny. And my grandma just, like, last second, like, was like, holy shit, he's falling, and grabbed onto me, like, right at the nick of time. Oh, my God. And the lady next to her, some random lady, helped to hold onto me, <laughs> but I almost fell out of the fucking dress. That, almost, that almost seems like something that would happen in one of the movies. I know, right? Yeah. Tossed life up life imitating art. Yeah. yeah. So I'm um, the T Rex's mouth. Yeah, isn't the T Rex? It's like right above you or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that ride has always yeah. scarred me. That's funny. Have you, been, have, you been, have you been on it since? Yeah. Okay. I was like, <laughs> like <laughs> really tense again? when it I went back again? on it. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I planted my feet this time and I was much taller nice. when I did it. There you go. <laughs> Horrible. I just want to, because you brought it up briefly in our text, I wanted to get the story. So thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah. you for mm-hmm. telling. So Universal Studios, guys, you guys got to ride that ride. Yeah. It's the best. 